Let me take you away from it all. 
Welcome back, everyone, to episode 40 of Calls with the Wizard. Uh, this was kind of a, like a last-minute thing. Um, I just wanted to go live and because uh, I felt like it. You know, I'm an old guy, and I don't like to go out too much uh, to too many places. I don't bar hop. I'd rather just uh, drink at home and uh, uh, take calls and entertain you guys. So thank you, everybody on the live chat, everybody who decided not to be on the live chat, everybody who liked, commented, and subscribed, everybody who shared, everybody who disliked. It doesn't matter. You guys are still watching. Much love and respect to all of you guys. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out my last episode, definitely go check it out. Uh, we just had Hazard. And speaking of Hazard, I got to mention somebody named Carlos Cruz. He dropped four ninety nine on the live chat a couple of days ago on Wednesday. And I want to apologize to him because I guess my boy Alex right here, and I'm not blaming that on him. We get so mixed up with the super chats that sometimes we just forget. But I'm going to read your super chat right now, Carlos Cruz. And it says this message is or question is for Hazard. Said, Would you or have you worked with Mr. D? He speaks highly of you and your bars. So I'm going to say this. I'm not going to answer for Hazard, but I'll give my answer. Knowing Hazard and knowing Mr. D, the yes, of course, because I do believe that not only is Hazard a great artist, a dope lyricist, I believe so is Mr. D, and their collab would be dope. 
Yeah, so, uh, but I, Carlos Cruz, I will go ahead and give this to Hazard. And if you're on Instagram, reach out to him and maybe he can chop it up with you there. So once again, thank you. Definitely check out Hazard's uh, last conversation that we had here with him uh, on Rodeo Radio. We had a great, great time before that. We had uh, an update. Uh, and this Sunday, we're going to have another, uh, well, I'm not going to even tell you guys. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into it uh, with my special guest, the one, the only, from the Harbor area, to make it a little bit more intimate from the city of Wilmas, John and Dean, the place to be for Spanish Fly. How you doing, brother? Good, chilling, man. You know what? You haven't been here in a minute, man. Yeah, it's been a cool minute. You know what, bro? I've been trying to get Ese Daz, and if you're watching, I'm calling you all right now. I've been trying to get him on here, bro, but uh, he's just too busy for me. My boy, man, he's a, <laughs> he's, he's a celebrity, dog. He's up there. Yes, yes. You know what? You and could, go, go ahead, go ahead, Johnny. No, you, could, you, could, you could sign out with me, and then I'll, I'll make sure he gets here. All right, that'll work. Chef, even even, even if you got to bring up in a, in a headlock. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? I want to give ambitious tattoo, ambitious underscore tattoos on Instagram a shout out. Uh, somebody hit me up today and said, hey, man, you got some fans over here and they, they watch us at this tattoo place. Uh, ta I don't do these to call them partners, tattoo partners, tattoo shops, tattoo shops. OK, tattoo shops. So once again, ambitious underscore tattoo. Give them a follow. Uh, they watch us live. So much love and respect to you guys. But other than that, Johnny, it's been a minute. I think, when was the last time you were here? I think it was Drinking with the Wizard, right? Drinking with the Wizard, yeah. Dude, dude. <laughs> Ready for that round two. Okay, Ooh. round two's coming up because we're, we're about to do one at the end of this month. And Wix is going to be here. Were you here when MC Wix was here? And I was here with um, the first, your, your birthday edition one. Oh, that was the first one, it huh? It was Angel. It was me, yeah. Angel, um, your boy Mega Man, and, uh, <laughs> and Norbeezy. Okay, yeah. um, I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say nothing on that <laughs> on, on that one. But uh, um, now, as far as that, how long has that been? At least about a year, year and a half. It's been about a year, year and a half. Fuck, it's been a minute, dog. Yeah, it has. Yeah, this it has is long overdue. Okay, I remember that. Did, did you ever go back and look at that episode? Uh, I didn't want to see it, dude. I didn't want to see it either. Yeah. I don't I, want to see that shit. Look, look, when you get tore up, for those of you guys that never seen drinking with the wizard, we start drinking from the very beginning. Yeah. And we just chop it up. We just say, ask whatever, you know? And before you know it, we're a bunch of fucking cantineros. Oh, got to give a shout out to Alex and uh, B. Scanless for taking about the home and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> I, I heard you fail. Is that true? I, I probably did, dude. But hey, but you, you got to remember, we're, it was the first episode. We had to go hard. I can tell you right now, I I probably polished off two bottles just myself. I believe that. Cause, I believe cause that. I was just out of that. I was just chugging, I, it, bro. I, I mean, you know what? What I what what was crazy was because you got the shot glass, you filled it up like three times, and I was like, no. That's what it is. That's your birthday, fool. We gotta do it up, homeboy. We, I, shit. I know no, that, you... but I was like, I was worried. Nah, you know? I'm, like, I'm local. I'm right here down the street. Yeah, I, I know, yeah, bro. That's how but we do it. but that's still, how we do it on I, this block. I. I I want you to remember everything. I remember everything. I'm just saying I didn't want to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> shit, but I remember everything, bro. That shit was lit. It was turned up. We, we had a good time. I'm bringing MC Wicks back, uh, bringing you back. So we got to get some more yeah, guests. We got to get Wicks, and I want to out 40 him. He drinks 340s. I'll drink four, maybe five 40s. No, don't do that, John. Yeah, and whatever. Mickey's I'm already concerned. Nah, I ain't going to do shit. Mickey ain't going to do shit. I mean, piss. That's about it. Okay, I, I'm thinking about getting like a, a different table a diff so we can all sit, so we don't have to take turns switching chairs. But I think that's what I want to do, bro. I think I want to switch be, it up. Cool. That way, with maybe all five of us and just shoot the shit and then just kind of like ask each other questions, like, you know, whatever. You yeah, know? yeah it, it gets turned off and drinking with the wizard, bro. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I now, I want to ask you now, as far as Spanish fly is concerned, uh, it's you, Esa Daz, and then Mokes, correct? Yeah, MOC. Okay, you guys have been doing a couple of shows recently, not only on your own, but also opening up and performing with Little Rob. Well, he, you know what, Rob? Uh, Rob shows a lot of love, man. He um he brings us up. We perform with him on his set. Yeah, yeah. And then we um we did a couple of whole sets with him, but every every time he's in LA, bro, and when it when it works out, we we get it cracking. And, 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 and how has it been doing that with him, man? It, they're nice nope. crowds. It's sold out every time. Yeah. Him, Magic, Bash. Oh, yeah. And then there's always like, last time it was um, Quick and it was uh, the Dog Pound. 
Yeah, the dog pound. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think I was there the last one that you guys performed at the Noble. The Noble was dope. Yeah, that motherfucker's hard to get into, man. Like, uh, like to try to get backstage, yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. Let me tell you something. I say this respectfully to my boy, uh, Big D, MC Magic's manager. Yeah, who, who's 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 like my oh, brother, man. honestly. Uh, we talk all the time. We actually spoke today, and he's always speaking some wisdom and knowledge into my life, bro. And I love people, once again, that deposit something good in you, not just withdraw and steal yeah. your damn joy. But um, he told me, come through, and I got you. I thought it was going to be almost like a club atmosphere where you tell the security, hey, man, you know, you don't let him in. Yeah. Hell no. No, they don't want to play, bro. ID, everything, though. You get everything, checked, everything, cavity checked, pull down your chonies, bend over, check, want to make sure it's you. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a little, now we, we got in good because, um, well, you know, because we're performing. Right, right. But if it wasn't for that, it would have been difficult. I've how, seen people. How long did you guys have sets? Well, the, the set we've been doing with Rob, like when we, when he, um, we perform our song with him and then we do like another two songs. So it's probably, I would say good, like 15 minutes. Okay. Since a lot of people may not know that you, you guys do have a song with them. Tell us about it. How did that come about? Who produced it? Uh, where did you guys shoot the video? Because there is a video out. It's uh, Cruise Control. Okay. Um, we, um, while we were chopping it up with uh, Rob, we go back. Uh, Spanish Fly and Real Rob goes back to the, when me and Daz were um, signed to uh, uh, Pocos Better Locos, uh, Silent Giant. Okay. So we, we were, like, if you look, we're in this video, uh, Summer summer Nights. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll see a, a nice little slim version of myself and shit in that motherfucker. But, uh, so yeah, a slim yeah, man, yeah, nice, yeah, they... <laughs> Rub my hands and shit, getting clowned on. But um, now nah, it was cool. Um, we even knew him from back then. We never really got the chance to work with him in that process, but we right. were around them frequently. And he was just down to earth people, bro. Yeah. So so him and Daz, they already had like a they they dealt with each other more on that end. And, and um, we just chopped it up, bro. And he um, like followed back and we was started we talking in the DM and then yeah yeah exchanging numbers and got it you know got back into it. That'll work. So so. Uh, when did this song drop, and who did the video, and where can people find the video? Okay, Essa Daz pro, uh, produced the track. Okay, I, I came up, I, I did the chorus. Well, I came up with the chorus first. You know, I came up with that chorus, the cruise control. The I came up with it while shit while I was in the shower. No got shit. out the shower, wrote it down. You know, so you were just butt vibe. naked right there, and you just butt started. naked with a towel hanging over my fucking, you know, my looking like we need shit. a pool. Yeah, looking like we need a pool on fucking steroids, homie. Now nah, play, but um. Yeah, I came up with the hook, and I just told him I need a like kind of like an oldie style beat, right? To get the feeling of it, I sent him the hook, and then he just worked around the hook, and then that's dope, recorded. man. It, it, well, okay, now when did it come out? And once again, where, where can you see it? The the track is, I think it's, it came out in December. I think like a, a year and a year ago. Oh wow! For some it's reason, been out for a while. For a some year. reason, I don't know why I thought it was like like maybe five six months ago. Nah, but it's, it's longer it's, than that, right? It's longer than that. It's over a year. And uh, concrete, my boy, concrete shot that video. Okay. And then what was cool is that uh, when we did that video, Rob had a performance that day. He had a performance at the Cadillac Connection. Okay. And then he was like, man, let's, let's, um, you guys come down and sh uh, let's perform the new song on stage. So we performed that song with him for the first time for the video. Okay. Well, so, so, so you guys just filmed it there? I thought We filmed it there. That We did a first sec uh, session there. And then we, he came back to the city. He came back to Weedmaz and had him at the crib. And he was, you know, there, barbecued. And we did another scene there. That's dope, man. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And and uh, so they could find that where? They could find it on YouTube, Spanish Fly Originals TV. Originals on, TV. Yeah, Originals TV. You can find it on that and every other video we have going on from my album to, to the Spanish Fly album. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, you know, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but it's just a fair question because somebody in the DM asked me about maybe about 30 minutes before we went live. Yeah, right. And they asked me, okay, who is Spanish Fly? And obviously he's a fan of you guys, but he said, uh, I know it's Johnny D, I know it's Mox, I know it's Esther Daz. Is Any Means still a part of the group? Any Means, is, he's a homie, he's still around, but he, um, he's doing his own thing right now. Okay. So okay. it's like, you know, we might, might do an album with him next, or, but right now it's, uh, it's just the three of us finishing up this album we have right now. Okay. And, and um, as far as that one song with Little Rob, have you guys dropped anything else since then? We have um, um, The World is a Ghetto we just dropped. Oh, okay. The World is a Ghetto is our new single that we have out. It's a Spanish Fly track. It's me, uh, Lottie the G, and Esa Des, produced by Esa Des. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, is that the one that you guys just filmed right here off of PCH and Figueroa? We did it over here by the, by the port. 
And then we did it right there. Yeah, not PCH, no. Okay, because th- there was this one place where Daz was telling me somebody pulled up. Pulled up? Oh, are you talking about, uh, that was another track we did. That's for, Okay, that was so that was not out yet. No, nah, Life on the 110's out. Oh, okay. okay. That's like, that one's recent. That's that's from my album, Life on the 110. That one's out. It's, it's, uh, it's me, Hectic, and Daz. Okay, okay. Hectic, that's shot by Alloa. That's our new our Oh, new yeah. You, you know what? I had Hectic here twice. My boy, Hectic's a... Hector is like the Mexican DMX. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hector is a, dope. He's dope, dog. If you guys don't know who Hector is, definitely look him up. Okay, he he's been here twice. Rodian Radio, look up Hector on, and he actually spit here on here. Signed to cocaine, bro. He's he's a, oh, he he's a big dog. Yeah, he signed to cocaine. Oh, okay. So you'll see that you'll see uh, you'll see Hector uh, Spanish flying cocaine on some shit. You know, and let me give a shout out to Lottie the G because. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the last times, oh, I seen you a couple of times, but I, I seen you was at the Wilmington Car Club right here. Yeah. And Lottie was here. Yeah. You filmed the video, Red Monster. Yeah. Now, is that on the same YouTube? Yeah, everything channel? is on Spanish Fly, uh, Spanish Fly Original TV. Okay. You see all that, every, all the new cuts. And um, I, think I have um, I have one song, the uh, song I shot here on Al Street, uh, R.I.P. That one's on my channel, Johnny D TV. Okay, but now you spell else. Johnny D just regular. Yeah, Johnny J O H N N Y D TV. Okay, definitely You'll check see that me out in the in the live chat, just running, re- talking my shit. So okay, and yeah. and uh, Red Monster, I was there for that video shoot. Uh, 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 Pamps, Pamps shot that, yeah. He shot that, and then that was the Wilmington Car Club. If you guys want to check out some of the cars, I know you guys shot a lot of the cars there mm-hmm. from the Wilmington Car Club. Definitely check that video out. Now, there was one that stood out to me, which I was actually surprised that you did. Not that you did, that this per- other person did. Lottie the G, Johnny D, and Mr. D. Mr. D, yeah. 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 How did that come about? Well, shit, that was, um, that was uh, Lottie. Lottie had that, uh, he had that track. He did a track with Mr. D, and they, um, they went to the studio with um, Darren Vegas. And they created the beat from scratch, and then they, they dropped their vocals that same day. Did, did you go to Darren's as well? I, to record, yeah, to yeah. record my verse. But at first, it was like, we need to get somebody on the hook. That's what he was saying. He told me that. Lottie was like, I need Johnny on this shit. I hear him. So I, as you see, like, he, wrote, he wrote his verse, and he attached my name to that verse to mm-hmm. solidify it. And then a couple of days later, I went and did my hook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. Uh, uh, um, how was Mr. D there that day? When I did the hook? No, he was there with Lottie when they recorded the verse. Okay. Okay. But he was there when you guys did the video. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's a visual for that. Okay. Yeah. That video is kind of. Was that the first time you met him? That was a. No, I, I met him at a, a couple events. Okay. Like, but that, I met him, uh, I have to say, like three, four times. Have you ever had a chance to chop it up with Mr. D as far as like maybe for about a good hour? That video. Okay. Yeah, for hours. Yeah, bro. That guy, bro, one thing I will say about Mr. D, I have nothing negative to say about him other than in the past when I cleared up the whole business thing, but that had nothing to do with him, had to do with his manager at the time. But you know what? That's all done over with water under the bridge. But as far as Mr. D, that guy, I had such a great time talking to him because we would talk sometimes two to three times a day, sometimes for about an hour at a time. He's, a, he's, he's, a he's an kid. old soul, bro. He's an old soul, but you can tell he's a youngster. He has yes. A, you know, he's a real youngster. I mean, I don't have too many dudes that are 20 years old pull up to my house bumping Planet Rock or it's like that. Yeah. You know, and you, you, you wonder like, how do you, how do you know that? You know, I met him at a couple of places. I have lunch or at a couple of places where we went to go rent furniture for his video shoot. And he was like on some uh, friends. How many of us? Have? And I was like, bro, how many of us have that? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, bro. But, uh, you know, much love to Mr. D. Uh, um, he might be coming back over here. Not necessarily. Yeah, to, I don't see why not. He not necessarily to work, but, but to be on the podcast. Yeah. yeah to be in the podcast yeah, yeah. because I, I like Mr. D and I, I want to bring him back and kind of want to give an update on, Everything that uh, happened and uh, what is he doing now? Yeah. So, so he's now still, he's still doing his thing. Okay. I, I got a track. Um, I'm I'm gonna do a track with him pretty soon too. Okay. So there's a lot of there's now, a lot now, of things in the works. Now, as far as uh, Spanish Fly, is there an album coming out, uh, or is there a Johnny D album coming out first? Is would, there is there a solo? It's a Daz album. Uh Daz probably he's probably now, but um. The album's gonna come out. I would say uh, late January, maybe early February. What album is this? The Aphrodisiacs. But whose album is it? Spanish Fly. Spanish Fly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Spanish Fly. Well, how many songs can we expect on there? For sure, you're gonna get like at least eleven. Uh, I would say ten tracks, maybe a couple intros. Okay. A couple. You're Theo. 
in the in the mix, and um, you know, got to do the, the the mandatory intros. But then um, it should be about 11, 11, 11 12, maybe thirteen songs. Okay, is there a Johnny D record that we can expect this year, twenty twenty four? Shit, I got I got so much in the works coming out. Like, there's a lot of big features too that I got coming, but I'm like, not gonna, oh, you're not gonna, I'm not gonna lock it into it. I'm not gonna until I'm able to show it. Okay. As a matter of fact, don't even tell us to, I know you won't, but don't even tell us. I'm going to tell you why. Because one thing that I've learned, bro, is that motherfuckers are out there like this, just waiting to steal motherfuckers' ideas. Yeah. On Wednesday, I went live and I mentioned somebody's name. They made a reaction video about an hour later. Getting that content. Yeah, I'm like, you know, and I, I, I want to say something now. I want to, yeah. I want to say something. I'm not mentioning no names. I promised myself I'll put a posty note. Don't mention no names, Tony. Uh, but I could. The 2024 is the year of the truth. Um, yes. One thing I do want to say is this, that um, all these guys that use my content to do reaction videos, if I wanted to, Johnny, I could have their pages taken down. Yeah, you could shut it down because it's your content. It's my content. Yeah. And I've never done that to anyone. You know, dude, there's only a few people that do that. Uh huh. They, they, you know, you can't put say their name or even right mention. I mean, there's guys that taken my pictures and put me put my face on a leprechaun. You know, (laughs) yeah, I think it's hilarious. (laughs) They made rap songs about me. You can't pay for that kind of promotion. That's good shit, right there. But the thing is, if I wanted to be a jerk, yeah, 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 I could just YouTube. He stole my content. Strike. You get another strike. Strike. You get three strikes. You're done, pal. Yep. You're done. Yep. There's guys out there that on their page have about at least five to six videos of me. Mm-hmm. On their page. I can name them all, and I can have them all taken down tomorrow. But you know what? I'm not that guy. Nah, you don't have to stoop that low. Exactly. Uh, say, say it like this. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. You heard but it here first. Your dad. <laughs> Oh shit, that's funny. Damn it. Okay, but anyways, I uh, want to give a shout out to uh, Norby because he's um he's on the live chat, bunking people, bunking people with his yeah yeah eating Taco Bell with he, his shirt off. Oh, Taco Bell is squirting Diablo sauce on his yeah, nipples, hell yeah, and then sucking it off himself on Figu- Figueroa. Hell yeah, and it's cold hell yeah. as hell, cold as hell, and he's wearing a G string backwards <laughs> <laughs> with a Christmas hat, like full his pants, homie, and Crocs, and white Crocs, Crocs. <laughs> white Crocs. With his feet all sweaty. Yeah, and shit stains on his drawers, you know what I'm saying? His feet are all sweaty. His feet are all sweaty. He's glistening. Sweating in the cold and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're out there. <laughs> it doing too much. And he took a swig of fucking night train. And night train? Ah. After he just bit his chalupa. Hell yeah. Drank a fucking uh, liquor store pill with a fucking Mad Dog 2020 and shit. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, let me ask you a question. Buy magnums that don't fit. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. What is a drink that if you saw a girl drinking, you would say, fucking hood rat? Uh, Cisco. Cisco. And, and you know what, dog? Like the upscale, the, the upscale hoochies drink Alizé. Remember that back in the days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, Alizé. It's yeah, still popping. Yeah, it's still some, popping today. I, have, I haven't seen that shit, but I know they sell it. But the, the, the hoochies with Feria, bro, the, the ILW hoochies with, drink that Alizé. Okay. <laughs> when, when a Chicana says... Let's go get some Hennessy. I'm like, uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's Hennessy's, a red flag. That shit is overrated. That, that's Was a red cognac? flag. Cognac? Yeah. No cognac. Okay, what's another one? Magnum? <laughs> Code 45. 2020. Is that what it's called? The, 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 the Mad Dog one? Y- no, the, they come different flavors. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, you talk, oh, you are the fucking, um, no, what? That's popular now. That little buzz ball shit? Yeah, that's real popular. That's no, popular. No, Before it, that was only like... Okay, it's a bottle it, like this, but it, it's green, then red, and then blue. I think it's 2020 oh, it's like or a, Is it shiny and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, fuck, I, I haven't seen that for a minute. I know what you're talking about, though. I don't know the name of it. Wow. But that shit is, yeah. That's, that's hey, Alex, do you shit. know what you're not talking about? You didn't even li- listen. He wasn't even listening. He was over there on his what, phone. I, I caught him. Okay. God. So, Eating then, edibles on his phone and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, then, and then the champagne was, what's a hoochie-ass champagne that you'd be like, God. Well, you this can't is not say Andres. Andres is no, no, yeah. no, no. To me, a hoochie champagne, because this is what or, it was back wine. then. Yeah, I don't even know if it's a wine. It's more of a wine cooler. Yeah, remember Boone's Farm? Boone's Farm. Yeah, yeah. Boone's Farm. It was like a, a, back then. It was like a dollar ninety nine, 
And girls used to drink it out of a straw because they said it would get more of a buzz if they drink it out of a straw because they didn't have that and much money. If you see a, if you see a Haina with a fucking um, Carter Rossi big ass sangria bottle, foo, that bitch is getting pregnant by the end of the night, dog. <laughs> sangria right there, the big ass sangria, dude, are the are the white um, white Zinfandel. Fuck, that's some fucking hoochie shit. And then you know some hoochie shit now is that Stella shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Stella's a, Stella's a you think so? drink. Yeah, that's a hoochie drink. All right, all right. We'll so get to my mom. She loves that shit. I'm like, don't be drinking that. You just shit. threw your mom under Sugar the bus. Sugar water, dog, like two percent alcohol. You're just drinking straight up diabetes. Fuck. Okay. What what's a a type of cigarette that you know she's a hoochie mama? Fuck. Black and mild. Black and mild <laughs> number one. And Newports. Newports, yeah. Newports. Like so, if you if a girl's like. You know, black and mild, and you smell fucking sound, sounding like uh, Miley, Miley Cyrus, huh? You want a hit of this cigarette? <laughs> Come on, fuckers. I'm like, God damn, now you hear her voice? <laughs> fucking horrible, dude. Fuck. Sound like a, they, they put like engine engine noises to fucking match her voice? No, uh, they, 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 they did chorro to match her voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, bro. Uh, uh, but she's like, the journey's usually yeah, the there. Journey's here. Fuck. You're bro. not ready. <laughs> Like, what? Imagine that shit. Come on, come get this taco. <laughs> like, no, what the fuck? God damn, dog. Fucking My bad, little homie. Fucking pussy smells like ashtray. Uh, ah. Twerking her, twerking her, her pelvis, her bone, or what? Oh, shit, chicken butt. <laughs> now you got uh, pancake booty with no booty, dude. Pancake booty with no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, no G string, it was just dental floss. Uh. Oh, fuck. Okay, what's another one? What, what's a hooch? How would you know if you saw her eating something in the hood? What would you say? Okay, that's a hoochie mama. For me, chili burger special. <laughs> Wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Glizzies. God, uh, corn dogs. Not even the mini ones. Just big ass corn dogs. Fuck. Hitting them with the coupon all day, every day. I mean, not even the pollo salo, but fucking chili burger special, bro. Dipping her fries in tartar sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Our mayonnaise straight up, huh? <laughs> Oh, Fine. shit. Okay. Um, what's something that a hoochie mama would be wearing, especially in the cold? In the cold? Yeah. Uh, those, uh, a hoochie mama, a gorda hoochie mama, or like a fucking... Whatever. So maybe some knockoff Uggs. Some no <laughs> Bear paws. Yeah. Bugs. Bugs, thugs. <laughs> I need thugs. <laughs> Fuck, on the side of it and shit? God damn. Oh, man. You, you, you know... I once seen this one chubby girl. I guess she had something in her Uggs. She took it off and she had her nails. They were all chipped, like from like she hadn't painted her nails in a long time. And I was like, holy shit. And she was wearing Uggs barefooted. And you know those damn feet. Those fucking stink. feet stink like fucking uh, corn chips. No, no, uh um cueritos, uh pig skin. Cueritos. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Granitas mix. Fuck. She has fucking portico feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or um, right when you walk in, like, God damn, what the fuck? The trash can right when you walk in, my boy? Really? Uh, uh, you're going to make me start drinking early, bro. <laughs> uh, I, and I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, another one. Tattoos that are a red flag. Because everybody got tattoos now. I saw a girl that had three different guys' names. Oh, yeah. I heard that story. That's a good one. Yeah. I mean, no, but I think the most, the fuck, if a girl has this tattoo, you fucking run, dude. I'll tell you right now. The uh, worst me. tattoo, I, I, I would say for a female, Hello Kitty, dog. Really? Yeah, dog. To Hello me, Kitty is like a red flag, dog. To me, any kind of tramp stamp. A tr the tramp. Because why, knowing what it's called, why would you get a tattoo that's called tramp stamp? Some bottles have tramp stamps now, dog. For reals? I'm going to count that. Some of your bottles got bottles. Some of your bottles got bottles, love bottles, and take bottles, homie. Damn. But yeah, bro, like, okay. A tramp stamp. Um, Winnie the Pooh tattoos. Winnie the Pooh. Or I'm going to say this. This is just me. No disrespect, but to me, it's a red flag. I better run a face tattoo. In today's day and age, on a girl. You know, it's a, kind of a red flag is neck tattoos. Anything like around like yeah. the actual like face. Yeah. Well, like neck, not neck. Well, the face tattoos, that's a red flag, bro. What about here? Hip? Yeah. Albert. Or some shit like fucking God, really? We know you're fucking baby dad. Girl. Mario's girl. Mario's girl. <laughs> they said they, they sent me a picture. It said Johnny's girl. This bitch had her whole shit blasted right here, dog. That and means she was, must have yeah. got caught cheating. Yeah. That means she must have got caught cheating. He said, go do it. Yeah. Oh, those, are, those are the bitches that get caught cheating yes. on camera. On, on camera? Yeah. 
Don't they with, with the fucking name, showing it, showing the wedding ring like that, with next to the fucking name and shit, getting piped. Come on, dog. Red flag. Red, red flag. Red, okay. red flag, dog. Okay, what's another red flag? Um. <laughs> a chick with an Obama phone. Damn, remember it was back in the days. It was chicks with pagers. Chicks with pagers. But it was everybody had a pager back then. Um, it was Obama. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, <laughs> they're free. They're free. Um, <laughs> what is it? Ah, shit, dog. What about, a, okay, like, can you go out with a girl that smokes weed? Are you cool with that? I'm cool with that, but I think um, eventually I will have a problem with it. Not too much. You can't be fucking blown out like fucking Alex right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, you know, it can't be burning trees every fucking five minutes. Okay, what's a turnoff to you? A girl smoking a cigar or a girl hitting the bong? Fuck. Smoking a, both. I guess weed is cool. It's not like she's smoking like a fucking be real joint and shit. Like, come with on, a bong. Dog. Yeah, with she a like, bong. <laughs> Chasing it with a fucking, <laughs> with a 40. Fuck, you got yourself a fucking ratchet. Looking at me. you, blowing it out. Yeah. Saying, you ready? You, you ready? Yeah, yeah. You ready for this, Chochis? <laughs> What's one name that you don't ever want to be called by a hood rat? Is it like a poppy, a uh, chulo? Papa. No one wants to be called a fucking little, little one. <laughs> <laughs> you call me little one, bitch, you getting punched. You call me a thief. <laughs> you call me a thief and a, and a weirdo. Fuck that. But nah, nah, call me little one, you get beat up. Okay. Could you go out with a girl, say you guys are making out, you know, you're just doing your thing, got your finger going on. Do you ever do one of these? Like you hug her? Every guy does that. If think, he, I'll tell you right now, every guy, and when he touches a girl, even over her clothes, they're going to smell it, dude. They're going to really? go like, you can go like this, touch the headphones, and you'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> so when they do this, huh? Yeah, like, oh, they're stressed out? <laughs> it's the fucking, that's a natural test, dog. You're like, and if, and if you smile through the clothes, dog, it's no bueno, dog. It's infection. No, no bueno, no bueno. Infection. Uh, I had a I had a uh, homie one time that told me he took out a girl, and uh, she took off her tennis shoe. She was wearing no socks. Oh fuck! And and she scratched her foot. Okay. Oh fuck! And she wiped her hand on. And he goes, bro. And I took a good whiff of her fucking. It was like foot. makeup fucking on her. Fucking yeah, clothes bro. And shit. He goes, like I took a good whiff of her nasty ass feet. He goes, I swear, man. After that dinner, I was just like, I'm good. I'm good. Man, bad hygiene is the fucking worst, bro. That is, it could be, no matter who it is, bad hygiene would just make you walk out. No, and exactly. it'd be a nasty vato. One of your nasty homies that'll come in and intercept that fucking stinky broad. Hit her with a fucking disinfected wipe and call it a day and shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lice on her. <laughs> um, what's the most you allow a girl to have as far as a girl's body count? After she hits a certain number, you're like, nah, I'm, I can't go on with her. What, what, what but is, how do you even know their body count? It's, it's not written on their fucking head, imagine. Okay, but let's just say that, let's just say for some reason that we could see a girl's body count. Like, you see her? Well, you, you see know, that a hood chick, like, if you grew up, she grew up in the same city. Right. And she dated every single buddy but you, and then now it's your turn? Yeah. Like those no. of, nah, fuck that, bro. Okay. You gotta... But yeah. what is the highest? Say, say you asked her, what is your body count? She goes, I'm not gonna lie, 55. 55? Fuck, that's a lot, dog. But you know what? That's not even, like, nowadays, they be hitting 100 marks. Easy. Oh, hundreds, hundreds, easy. Easily. Okay. Uh, but, you, but you know what they do? They say females, um, like if the shit was whack as fuck, they just delete it out of their mind like it didn't count. It just didn't like... They're able to like... Oh, that don't No, count. that didn't count. I didn't mean that it. That didn't count. Yeah, he, he couldn't even break the surface. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fuck. so... So, you know... So poor Norby's, he don't count a lot, huh? Why <laughs> <laughs> Norby's, no nah. He's trying... A for effort. Okay, so, so what would be the highest that you would say, okay, I could deal with a girl that has 30. C could you... It depends on the woman. Uh, damn, I don't... I, 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 Just take, take a while. What's the most? 10, 15? 10, 15, 20, maybe. Okay. All right. Yeah, you don't want someone that's fucking... Now, say you had about at least... you the fuck down. Say you had at least about 350. You, you, got, you got a body count of about 350. But that's me, though. I, oh, I, 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 <laughs> I understand that. Like... I understand that. But yeah, let's yeah. say you, you met a girl, a good girl, and she only had five or three. And she asked you, well, what's your body count? Could you tell her? You're going to do what, you're going to do exactly what the female would do. Lie. 
I lie about your body count. They're okay. not gonna tell them the actual truth. That's okay. just how it. That's the reality of it. Okay, so what number would you give her then? If you knew she had only three, you gotta say like five, ten. Keep it under ten to be safe. Dude. <laughs> keep, it under, keep it under ten to be safe. <laughs> Nine and a half. What's the fucking half? You know, yeah. Is it a half? What do you mean a half? Oh, she was the midget. <laughs> Damn, that dude. counts as two nowadays. Oh, everybody wow. wants everybody wants to bone a midget. There you go, counts as two. I know MC Wicks. He he likes midgets because he always he's always posting yeah, them on I the saw page. That shit. He talked about that. Huh? Yeah. So, would you knock down a midget if you were single? Nah, I couldn't do it, bro. Because I have they're just I I wouldn't be able to, bro. Do you have T Rex arms. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna have me a beer, bro. Like I was a, having this fucking like soda. holding a two liter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Alex, can, can you get us each a Corona, please? And then my clamato, por favor. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna start early, bro. Savage. See bro. what happens, Johnny, when you come. You bring the spirit of liquor. Liquor. Speaking of liquor, tell us what did you bring us? I brought you the. I don't even know what it's called. Espalón. Espalón. Anejo tequila. But it's the the green label. It's the green label. All the anejo, all day, every day. If we're gonna drink. If we're gonna drink tequila. Gotta be anejo. We usually drink the Blanco, pero... Oh, well. Take a couple of those. I'm going to put... I got a little bit like a Clamato. Okay. Hey, Johnny, pour mine because I'm known for pouring stuff in people's drinks. Oh. So. You want a damn bottle? Yes. So, anyways... um, I can't believe Tony said that. Yeah, hey, yesterday we did a video over here in the city, too. Yes, again? Yeah, it was... Um, was Daz around? No, yeah, it was here. It oh, was okay, him. Daz. You, could, you can come <laughs> over here, Daz, and you can't stop by, Daz. Yeah, we're over here um, for MC Peps, for the track we got with MC Peps. Oh, okay. Else. And, I'm, bro, MC Peps, look, before I start drinking, I'm trying to get him over here, so Peps, just know that when you're ready, I want you to come down. I want to talk about your history, bro, because a lot of people have been asking yeah, MC a, Peps a, is- about, you know, the, the brown pride. MC Peps is OG. That's the homie. Hold on, hold on. Let me open up your okay, shit. My bad, my bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's just that's just gonna that's just already done. The videos, are, my boy, out of the way, man. Okay, I'm gonna sip mine. Okay, so because I don't down mine. Salud, Salud. to uh, um, Norby's uh, Diablo sauce titties. There you go, big time. <laughs> I never tried this before, but I'm gonna try it with my. I don't know if you want some little bit in a cup, and you can pour your beer in it or not. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, I'll try that shit. Yeah. But this right here. Actually, smells pretty good. All right. So, let's talk one more thing about red flags. Okay. Red flags. Okay. Let's get that. Um, what's a nickname that is a red flag if a girl has it? Thumper. Because <laughs> she's thumping. Um, baby loose cheeks. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, Thumper. Thunderbird. Thunderbird? Okay, what about um Miss Pac-Man? <laughs> I don't know. What the, I, 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 I'm just saying, like what? That's probably the worst one ever, bro. Gobble gobble. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh no. What what's what's you guys write on the live chat like what is like the worst nickname that a Hoochie Mama could have? Um, yeah, we gotta hear some good ones. Yeah, we gotta hear some good ones. So, let's see. Ah, uh, let me see. What else? What else? What else? Um, Alex, you, you you got any good ones? S- say it into the damn mic. You got some good ones. Some good hoochie mama names that you better run from. Those are red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknames or real names? Nicknames, whatever. I would say if her name's like Loca or like uh, unfortunately like uh, Looney or something like that. Okay. I always tripped out on the name um, Iris, like IRS. <laughs> I don't know, like Iris, like Iris, like Iris. Okay, I'm trying to think of one. You, well, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> or, I'm not gonna say or, it. Or, you know what I can't stand when a hoochie mama has cheap ass perfume, like you know they got it at the dollar store or at fucking. Um, no, a little no. fucking container with no, with no label? Huh? Yes. Cool, cool nalgas. Cool nalgas. <laughs> cool, cool nalgas. Cool nalgas. Nalg- <laughs> smells just like. Cool nalgas. Hey, Tom, somebody said uh, the name uh, Chiquita. Chiquita? Chiquita. Uh, as a big bitch? <laughs> yeah, oh, this, probably. This Chiquita right here. Chiquita. La Sleepy. La Sleepy. 
Call me La Sleepy. La Sleepy. What could is a red, is a red flag from a chick a girl that can out drink you? Damn. Yeah. That's a red flag, huh? With the homies. Yeah. She out there big dogging it. Okay, what would be worse? Say you wake up, you just finished knocking one down. Hypothetical scenario. Yeah. You wake up in the middle of the night, what would be worse? Her going through your wallet or her going through your phone? Would it be worse? <laughs> Fuck the wallet because everybody, all the women go through phones. Okay. So that means she's trying to jack you, but the, the, the phone, they're always going to sneak into your phone. All right. All right. You? Well, I carry cash, so I would say my, my wallet. Yeah. So I carry cash. So uh, I try ne- never to use my card. If I, I'll go to the bank if I'm going to go out, you know, and then I, I'll just, you know, get a couple of C notes and just pay like that. But oh, I don't like using my card because one thing about my card, now I'm trying to change the subject, my cards have been fucking compromised every time I went to fucking Target. Damn it. Every time I went to fucking Target. They, they usually go when people use them on, like, buying, like, fucking network cards and shit like that. They always hack that. Like PlayStation or you know, those yeah. games they be using. Now, what about a hoochie mama playing video games? Is that a red flag? <sighs> Fuck. I never, like, what uh, if you pulled up to her crib and she had a big-ass fucking blunt and she had the headphones, she was talking shit to somebody <laughs> playing Call of Duty? <laughs> That's a vato, bro. Okay. That's a... Uh, used to be Sonya, now she's Sam. You know, like that's a wild flag. Like, it's too Okay. What about a girl carrying a gun? Nah, that's not a red flag. Okay. I mean, she'll hold it down if she if she has it. All right. I know if my girl had a gun, she'll fucking she'll let that bitch off. All right. Okay. There's some la dimples. La dimples. Gas station. <laughs> la, the gas station. La, la raccoon eyes. That's a good one. Uh, gummy All bear. Right. The itchy. Gummy bear, Golosa. <laughs> Golosa. Keisha. Keisha. Is it Tia Tequila? Yeah. I say say La Giegos. <laughs> la Estufa. That's Damn, La Estufa. <laughs> Damn. All right. Yeah. That's a man. Holy shit. Okay. La, sad, la, sad girl. Latina. Lat- la- ah. <laughs> Just like that, this guy. <laughs> this guy. These guys. Okay. Um, what about if you picked her up for Halloween and she was dressed like Fool's Gone Wild? <laughs> Just a mask dressed as a bunny or what? No, with the shorts, the socks, oh, and everything. <laughs> Every, exactly. I could never go out with a girl that goes, ha ha, who does that? I'm like, no. When, you know, like, she grabs her cock, ha ha. Ha ha. Here it goes. <laughs> Oh, what about a girl uh, with a deep voice? Nah, deep the fuck. You know, a lot of a lot of pretty girls have deep voices. That's like, kind of hey, is like that a girl there? This is her. What's up? What's up, bro? You down? I'm like, <laughs> fuck no. I was cracking, homeboy. <laughs> where, where you gonna take me eating shit? Yeah, exactly. McDonald's, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay. Um, what if a girl said, "Let's go to the driving"? Is that a red flag? Nah. What did she tell you? Bob? She's driving because it's far. What did she said? Fucking buy me hamburger special in the forty. The hamburger special and a, and a fucking and a, and I'll get her a Shasta. <laughs> a suicide, just mix them all. <laughs> get a suicide. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah. T- tell them give me a suicide. All right, Shit. easy eyes. Easy, <laughs> easy eyes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what if a girl picked you up and she was bumping SPM? Would you be cool with that? Oh fuck, nah, turn it off. And, like she pulls up, wiggy, 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 wiggy. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look in the back seat, fool. You have to look in the back seat. Fuck. <laughs> ah, what about a girl that wears dicky shorts and boxers? Hey, man, they're dressing like that nowadays. So you cool with, with going no, on? I'm, with not, I'm not really cool with that, but that's that's what's going on right now. Now you'll see like a pretty chick wearing like that shit with a little top. But it's all it's a costume right now for for certain people that never lived that life back growing up. Can you trust a homie from the neighborhood if he has a belly button ring? <laughs> the homie Twinkles or what? That's the big homie Twinkles, homie. Hell yeah. I'm sure he did a lot of time. Exactly. He's a closer warrior. 
Bro, fucking Daz fucking dies. He goes, I fucking die every time you say Chicloso. Chicloso. You haven't said it in a minute, huh? Yeah, I haven't said Bring it in a minute. Bringing it back. Chicloso. No, you got to say it with that voice, though. Chicloso. Yeah, Chicloso. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon nut. Huh? The huh, balloon nut. The balloon nut, Chicloso. The saladito lookalike. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Horrible. We got to do another, like, a blood in, blood out type of movie. Give me your Chicloso. Give me your chicloso, little homie. Uh, Give me a balloon knock. Wanna fuck around? Have the same bottle do it too, or what? He's still no, around. no, no. We gotta get a new Popeye. Yeah, Popeye's kind of done. He can't. Yeah. He's feeble. He can't really. No, he can't. Do he it. can't he, take he, the choncho no more. Yeah, he, no, no, he, no, no more they choncho. Have to give it. He's gonna get, be giving it soon. Okay, take the choncho. Take it. <laughs> give me a Snickers bar. Put it on my bed. Fuck! I've been drinking too early, man. Okay. Um, go ahead. You take over. What, Claire? Would you, can you date a girl named Claire? Claire? Claire's a normal name, dog. I don't see why not. What, Karen? Karen? That's a dope-ass name. My, I named my car Karen. All right. She got All a couple right. dents. She's been through a lot. What if a girl said, give me a Coke 45? Fuck, that's not, eh, that's not that bad, bro. All right. I'm telling you, Cisco, dog. Okay. Girl drink what is Cisco? the worst? What's a red flag if you see somebody mix a drink? What is the worst mixed drink that you can say, okay, she's fucking the hood, right? Okay, but, uh, fuck, uh, anything with Shasta. Okay. That's a fucking hood rat, bro. Anything, okay. Anything with Tiki, Tiki, uh, Tiki Punch and shit like that, that's a fucking, Shasta hood rat shit. Hood rat fucking. One of my homeboys, I know he's from East Los. We were, this was in the late 90s, and they brought some, some gorditas in, you know? And, uh, I was recording uh, some stuff for them, and they all had eight ball, okay? Damn eight it, ball. yeah. Old English, yeah, okay? Yeah. Now, what they did... They drank it like to like right here, okay. They they drank the eight ball to right there, so there was this much left, and then they filmed they filmed that little part with orange juice. You know what? Yeah, that made some. I was like, "What the fuck?" And they were like, "It's good." And not, I, drank, not, I drank I drank a an eight ball with fucking um with michelada mix. Oh no shit! Yeah, that shit's fucking horrible, dog. Don't ever do that shit. I tried it though. Yeah, yeah. She didn't say it's good. She goes, "It's good." I'm like, it tastes good with Mickey's, though. You can fuck with a Mickey's. Some malt I, liquor. I can't do malt liquor no more, bro. That I was can't. back in the days. I used to drink Mickey's all the time. Okay, can you date, uh, even if she's fine, a girl that could burp loud in front of you? Is that cool? Burp? Nah, man. You know what? Nah. And farting and shit? Yeah, nah, what, what if she that. farted? I don't think I could deal with that. Cause what if she was wearing pants? She wouldn't take a picture. She came back and she had a wet spot. <laughs> she know why? Fuck. Fuck. Or she, or she went the wrong direction. From the back to the front or what? <clears throat> Fuck, bro. I've seen it all. Talk about it. It's, it's, it's creamy because of you. No. Yeah, exactly. No, it's creamy because of infection. Yeah, exactly. Infection, my boy. Bro, and that's what. Fuck. I, I've seen a lot in the studio life, bro. Dudes that come in there fucked up and they just bring in whoever they picked up off the fucking street. No, she could sing, bro. She could sing. <laughs> Get in there. You know? Fuck, dude. Yeah. I've seen some, some vatos wearing high heels, some fucking cucks. Pain, pain, photos, pain. Other rappers are bone their high now. Oh shit! Oh, Some don't even have to pay them. Uh, somebody got to do it. Die <laughs> down. Hmm. Some of your favorite rappers wear high heels. Um. Here's another red flag. I will never say his name. Damn, I don't even want to go there. It's too. It's too early. It's too it's early. Yeah. Get it out. Fuck it. Let it roll. Okay. This dude hit me up, and I've known this guy for a long time. And this was, I want to say like 2005, 2006. He caught his girl cheating. She was, uh, you know, buffing this dude's knob. Okay. She's ca caught her. Yeah. Hey. And um, she told him, she, she, they started fighting against because he caught her in the act. Yeah. And, and he told me, would you consider that cheating? What the fuck? Yeah, he asked what he asked me. I, me knowing him, I knew that he was looking for justification. Yeah. He was looking for me to say, not really. If she loves you, you know, it, it make was Make it work. Make it work. <laughs> yeah. You're just going through a rough patch. Did he finish? Yeah. Did he, <laughs> he didn't finish? No. Well, he was like, oh, I'm just asking because, you know, yeah, I, I, I yelled at her. She yelled at me. And she just said it was just head. Get over it. I wasn't cheating. It was just head. And that's it. By the way, he was small anyways. Yeah. And he couldn't come. So. Yeah. So 
He used that, her justification to comfort himself. So he asked me, what do you think? And I go, she sucked his dick, bro. What else do you want? You know, she sucked his dick. Yeah, nobody wants my opinion. <laughs> so, Fuck, bro. yeah. So here's my question. Is that cheating? <laughs> hey, if he didn't come, it wasn't, bro. Hey, was he fully hard or was he noodle? Yeah. <laughs> or in the middle. Go. I was in the middle. She probably caught him in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So. See, there you go. And plus, his foreskin wasn't peeled back, so. <laughs> his snout trail? <laughs> Let me stop, bro. What the God, fuck? Don't, what are we talking about? <laughs> hey, no reason to even hear it. We're I talking know, like this. Damn, dude. dude like, Jesus fuck? Christ. Tony A's a fucking pervert. Yeah. Fuck, he's drinking. One shot, dog. Yeah. Not even that one shot. You didn't even finish that shot. We still haven't even fucking taken calls. Yeah, come on. Fuck. I don't have the balls to, to take the calls. Shoot the shit. There you go. Get that shit. <laughs> Grab get it. that shit right there. All right. Cheers, everyone. Let me get that shit. Let me pour them on quick. Oh, shit. Let me see. Yeah, All right. Hope you guys are having a good time. Alex, put on the live chat. Are you guys having a good time? Here. Um... What's cracking, man? Alonzo, amazing. That's my boy from San Diego. Much love, much respect, big dog. Muchas gracias. Uh, matter of fact, DM me, bro, okay? Um, and we'll talk. Um, other than that, Johnny, New Year's night, what did you do? Chilled at the crib, dog. I didn't do nothing, really. I just had my kids, and we just... Um, and pozole and tamales? Pozole tamales, bro. Okay. Okay. Same here. I just chilled, bro. Ate a, ate a, ate a uh, Nacho Granny's cookie edible, and... Fuck. Oh, you know what? Let's promote your sister, bro. Let's promote because your sister is always blessing me, bro. And and honestly, I I, I wanna I like promoting businesses like that. So, not your granny's cookies on Instagram. Yeah. And, not- and, and so, what is exactly does she sell? Uh, fill them in if they don't know. She sells uh, cookie cakes, cookies, edible cookies, and then um from time to time she does different kind of like brownies and stuff like that. But hmm. she has all that. It's, it's killing it, bro. She's ki- she's still killing it. It's a uh, Famous in the hood. Famous it in the harbor area. Bro, let me tell you something. Those cookies are fucking fat. Mm-hmm. They are fucking fat. Look at everybody that has came here and tasted that box of cookies, bro, have all said, who in the fuck is it? And those s'mores are off the gancho. They're, they're fucking dope, bro. She has her regulars, dude. She has, um, well, every, every week, she has, always has MC Poncho. She has a uh, uh, big boy. Okay. Big boy always getting cookies. He he put on the radio. I saw that cookies. Yeah, yeah. So she's all, she has a lot of she has a lot of big people. She that's good, man. I hope that shit takes off, bro. I hope you know it blows up. But all we can do is do our part and promote it, promote it and support it and eat it. So um, oh, yeah. Other than that, um, what else, what the fuck else were we talking about, bro? Because we were going in deep. Any yeah, good man. movies? Hey. Huh? Hold any, on. Go, go any ahead. Good first. movies. Um, Here, if you want to put the top back on, I was watching. You know, I didn't finish watching that one. That one with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. That shit looked pretty dope. Titanic? No, the recent one. It's him and uh, what is it? Al Pacino? No, no, it's with um Robert De Niro. I don't know they had one. No, no, it's recent. It's a cowboy one. Brokeback uh, Mountain? No. <laughs> the girls never came. Up. <laughs> what the fuck? Nah, it's, well, I, I forgot what it's called, but it's a it's a something the something dead. I I, I can't remember it. It's a brand new movie. It's in theaters. Or me bro, and my girl watching that. Okay. I'm late to the train. I'm going to admit it. This, yeah. this series has probably been out a year, uh, probably. But I'm late to the train. I started watching it yesterday, bro. What? Godfather of Harlem. Fucking dope, dog. Fucking dope, bro. The real crooked eye, huh, my yeah, homie? Yeah, yeah. From the harbor area. Yeah. He's from Carson. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. He played, uh, what, Bumpy Johnson? Yeah. Well, Harlem. Let me tell you something, bro. Har- I've been to Harlem several times. I slept in Harlem. And my boy DJ Thoreau, with much love and respect to him, his brother took me around to where the original Cotton Club was, bro. Where Dutch Schultz uh, were all hanging, where Bumpy used to reside. And, bro, like, there's a lot and where Malcolm, where Malcolm X preached, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not a Muslim, but I like the passion and the drive that Malcolm X had for his people, bro. Yeah. And, uh, and we should do the same thing instead of hating on, on each other. But, um... Bro, when I, when I, I I'm, I'm barely like an episode three, bro. But um, that shit was hard, bro. Did you watch uh, Snowfall? No, no. Fuck, that's a good fucking show, bro. R- who, who's it's that on, with? Um, you can watch it on Hulu, but I think it's FX. 
Okay, Snowfall. What's, what's that about? Who's that it's with? It's about uh, um, fucking the real Rick Ross. His whole, like, almost like his whole story. Oh, shit. Okay. That, you're, you're like, that shit has like, I don't know how many, has a lot of seasons. That shit is dope. Okay. That's dope. It, if you guys have not seen what's the Godfather of Harlem, it's on uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah, and now, it's, yeah, yeah. It's actually pretty damn good, bro. Dope. So, but, um, and then let me see, let me read the super chat. Alonzo Amazing dropped 199. Looking forward to part four of Planet of the Apes. I like all the Planet of the Apes. I think, I think th- those were dope. Uh, the ones that talk. Remember that uh, a lot of you guys might have saw my reel that I posted up on Instagram when he grabs that dude and goes, <laughs> Let me borrow 20 the bucks for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell me. I eat fools have double. <laughs> have what? <laughs> they have double Forrest Whitaker eyes, dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Fuck. That's a good one. Double Forest Whitaker. I mean, IE Foods walk backwards. Damn. Damn. With the clothes forward? With the, <laughs> through a cornfield. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Ah, oh, shit. Mm. That's horrible. Ay, ay, ay. Now, Johnny. Talk to me. Anything uh, as far as shows, anything soon? You know what? Um, I know that we're going to... Um, Right now we don't have anything on the on the radar, but I know we're gonna have some some um, April shows coming up. Uh huh. Thirty every. Um, if we're just locking it in right now. If somebody wanted to book you guys, can they reach you? Can they reach Daz? Like who do they reach? We, they can go through um Johnny D's page, um, Esther Daz's page, and then the Spanish Fly page. Okay. We oh, have right. it all there, we, and then we have our booking information on. We did a couple. We post uh, weekly. For okay. our booking information. And then, um, yeah, you just hit us up and we'll, we'll work with you, man. We'll work with all budgets. That'll work. I want to give uh, Gilbert Ortiz a shout-out. I said, welcome to Rodian Radio Supporter. He became a member. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right before we had gotten demonetized, bro, because we were demonetized for like three months. I heard I, I heard you and um, Norbert talking about it. Yeah. And uh, we've been back since like Wednesday, I believe. And uh, we had about 200, if not a little bit over 200 members before they cut us off. I checked today. We got over 40 members, bro. So and th- this has just been within the last three days. So I want to thank you guys because I'm going to be releasing unreleased footage. As a matter of fact, I believe the next footage I'm going to put, it's my battle of the DJs from 1988, bro. That's dope. You know, when I took down uh, DJ one-on-one, a lot of people call him DJ Raw from the city of Carson. And we battled the San Marica Hall right here off of uh, 223rd and Avalon. There used to be that one hall right there. So I'm going to be putting that up so you guys can see the battle of the DJs, 1988. I was just about to turn 20. I was 19 years old. K-Day was the judge, and Julio G was there to hand me my trophy. Julio G. So it meant a lot to me when I interviewed Julio here, and we took a picture with that same trophy that he handed me, bro. That's dope. So that's history, homie. Uh, let me give a, sh- a shout-out to Carlos Cruz, who just dropped $1.99. Uh, talk oh, about making a... You can't fuck with us. I said, you can't fuck with us. Came out the mud and the gutter made me so. We stay gangstered up, so pay attention when you're walking through these streets, cause we too dangerous. From LA to, uh, <laughs> to Santa Ana to these we my streets, yeah. You can't fuck with us. 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 That shit's dope, bro. That shit came out pretty dope. Bro. It was, um, you know what? I heard the beat, and the beat, the beat was hard, man. Darren got down, and um, right when I heard it, I go, dun, 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 dun. I had that you knew it tempo, so I just had to put the words to it. So I had it. That's I had dope, it. bro. That's and dope. Lottie knows how I get down. So Lottie, my boy, he's yeah, yeah. I like Lottie's voice, bro. I like Lottie's voice. So much love and respect to Lottie. He's always been a fucking real one, bro. Every time we've talked, it's always been on some good, positive shit, bro. Like, no negative shit comes out of that dude. And, and see, and I like, those are the kind of people that I like surrounding myself with, bro, because there's no bullshit. Yeah. You know, so. Anyways, Alex, can you get us another fucking uh, uh, round, please, por favor? Yeah, but that, that song right there, uh, that You Can't Fuck With Us, is doing pretty well, dog. Okay. Hey, since, since right now, it's the Cat Williams is trending. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's... Give me your reaction to the Cat Williams with Sh- uh, Shannon Sharp on the Shay Shay. The Shay Shay, that was a dope ass interview, man. He Bro, was speaking he, the truth. He started twenty twenty four with a fucking bang. Yep. He broke the internet. I think that now they're like almost at a forty million views. Yep. I, I I was watching it when it had four. So I, it's like, 
One big D, once again, my boy, pam, 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 he, pam, pam. he calls me and he tells me, you need to watch this, bro. He said, you need to watch this. And I was like, all right, cool. I, and I watched it. They didn't turn it off. I watched it like twice, bro. Swap it out. I, I watched it twice and um, the shit was hard, bro. Like, and then, um, bro, let me tell you something. A lot of guys don't like this. Somebody made a video. Don't be dropping names. Don't be dropping names. You could put yourself in harm's way. Hello, hello. The reason why you don't want your name drop is because you could put your yourself in harm's way. Okay. I think 2024 is a year to be dropping names, but only if you have receipts, bro. And they're oh, legitimate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You just can't say, well, you know, you know, Instagram said, fuck what Instagram said. Fuck what YouTube said. If you got legitimate receipts, yeah. this motherfucker mm -hmm. right here is doing this. So, did so, you watch that uh, that uh, Will Smith one? With who? With uh, with his best friend from of like forty years or some shit. Um, what's her name? Keisha. Keisha. No, I, I obviously I haven't. Bro, <laughs> what that shit is. Fill us he, in. What he, happened? He, what? They they talk about him fucking getting piped and he was out there like getting caught up with. Remember that Vato from um above the rim. That actor, um, what's his name? I think that was like his vato for him. That was his he was, he's, he, he's, he was married to, to um, the Martin, um, Pam, not Pam, the other, the main one. I don't remember. He's but, married but, to but, her, yeah. But I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, um, there's been people coming out saying that they walked in on Will getting piped by homeboy like big yeah, time, going bro. Hard, going, going ham on his ass. Dog. Yeah, exactly, bro. What, what, That's what, his homie. That's the one. Yeah, the, uh, uh, Power Bottom. Is that what they call her? Her name it? is Tasha K. That her shit, and she just put a she put another one out with um about um about Kevin Hart, and I guess they took it down, but she has all the receipts, so they'll probably be back up. Wow, Kevin okay. Hart's man. Um, so assistant. okay, so so they asked they asked about um they asked Will Smith about him with other no, men. They, no, or? they asked uh, his best friend because he was his he was I think it was his manager like for a long time for like 20, 30 years or some shit. So he admitted. So he he just let it all out, dog. And he and said, he, "Yeah, he yeah. gets fucked, whatever." Yeah, he, that he that he was there. He's the one that caught him. He said he walked in and that he said that fool was that fool was busting his shit open, dog. That's exactly the way he said it was fucking foul. It was like he was just killing his shit. I'm like, God damn, dog. <laughs> Don't say nothing, <laughs> bro. I couldn't. It's real. I guess it gets real. Huh? I could never respect a man after that shit like that, bro. But wasn't what after he did a uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, his first movie, he did a mean ass. Uh, it was a gay scene. Gay scene. He went yeah. ham on that shit. So, so like, come on, dog. Like, well, you know, okay. Here's what I've heard from producers, directors from Hollywood, um, and they told me this. Guys that kind of left the industry, they've told me, if you want to make it in Hollywood, the only way you're gonna make it, you gotta play a gay scene, or you gotta throw on a dress. And that's just the way it is. So I'm thinking, is that a fucking ritual? Yeah. Like, and why, why gay? And why just for men? Why not women? They just want to fucking demasculate them. Like they want to, they want to fuck the guy and just like have that over them. Have that fucking. That's what exactly what it is, bro. It's like okay, well, yeah, yeah, I fucked them. Like what? Like you, yeah. And I bet you the the rich and powerful people talk about it too. Like yeah, I, I fucked him too. Yeah, yeah, you fucked him. Yeah, I did too. Yep. Why his bitch watched? You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know, bro. These fools yeah. are out there. And and then they hang it over your head and say, if you don't if, if you don't be quiet, we're gonna let it out. We're going to tell your wife. Yeah. So, anyways, fuck it. All right. Um, before we open up the phone lines, anything else you want to promote? Anything else you want to share? Anything else you want to say? Uh, we open up the phone lines and let people just call in. Whether they want to ask no, you man, or me. Just stay tuned for that Spanish fly album. Okay. And when can we expect it? It's going to be, um, if not late of this month, early February. And the aphrodisiacs is the name of it. Why, well, why that, that, that title? Because it's, it's aphrodisiac, bro. We get them, you know, a Spanish fly, baby. That's been a title we've been wanting to use for a long time. Like, if we continued off, like, um, back then, it would have been that title. Okay. It just, it just seems the right thing to do, bro. And um, on this album, who did all the production? That's a Daz. Okay. You know what? So. Daz has been, like, he's been on a motherfucking mission when it comes to beats, bro. Oh, he's killing it right now, big time. Man. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. might been killing it. Stay, stay killing it. Look, if you guys want some dope-ass beats... Honestly, reach out to him. It's a right. Daz. What, uh, what's his Instagram? Just as a Daz. It's a Daz one ten south. One ten south. No one can find him. Go through me. No. Okay. Yeah, he's it's been like killing that. it on the beat. So you know what? Definitely hit him up. 
Um, other than that, Alex, go ahead and put up the number. Let me go ahead and connect, and let's see. Once again, I like to say, if you got the balls, make the calls. If you got the balls, make the calls. Sit, sit in that voice, bro. If you got the balls, then make the calls. Okay, we're going to have to Rudy record that Radio. so we can hit play that shit. So This is your Theo with the giant Cheeto. <laughs> Scooping your ass like Tostitos. Exactly. And eating you like Doritos. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to go ahead and open up the phone lines. Go ahead and once again call in. See, can you can you hear both ears? Yeah, oh, wow. Well, yeah, I could. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, we good, we good. Okay, I'm cool. One ear like I'm recording. All right, so shit. once again, if, if nobody's going to call, then we're just going to go ahead and just continue this conversation. And I'm going to continue to sip away. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. I gained some weight since the Crime and Agony album. Thank you. Yeah. Know that. Thank you for noticing that. Yeah, like big boy status, dog. Yeah. Here we go. Caller, your name, or where are you calling from? Uh, Andres, I'm escondido. Andres, como estas, bro? What's cracking? Pretty good. Chilling, chilling. What are you guys doing? Uh, just sipping on some tequila that my boy Johnny brought me and uh, drinking a michelada. That's what's up. Uh, I got a question for Johnny D. Talk to me. Uh, a rap battle between you and Mr. Little One. One on one, who would win? Me, hands down. All he's, right, he, all right, I, Simon. I, I'm not taking nothing from him. He's a dope rapper. He's not a dope person, but he's a dope rapper. And and um, I give him his credit. He's dope as fuck, but I, I, I'll bring it to his ass. Well, you got to have that confidence, yeah. you know? And Ooh. I'll do a hook on his ass on top of the verse. So. Yeah. You, you got you to gotta respect Little One for his contribution to no, the I, game, like, you know? I, yeah, de- definitely. I respect, his, I respect his music. For sure. Doesn't, I don't have to respect him as a person, but I respect his music. That's hands down. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, so? he didn't. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. All good colors. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, uh, another question for Giant D. Talk to me. Would you would you would you would you collab with uh, uh, Lefty Gunplay? Lefty Gunplay, you know, I, uh, the homie's entertaining, bro. I would fuck with him. I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with Lefty Gunplay. I think yeah, he, I um, think that I, 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 yeah, I think I, I think he's blowing up uh, real quick. So I think uh, you know, if you both collab, that'll be pretty dope. That'll be dope. That'll be on him though. You know what I'm saying? Because because I, I don't I don't pay for features. For sure. Every I mean, I that. could I could hear it in my head. You know, yeah, some 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 good music. Both of you guys flow. Hell yeah, this should be dope. That would be hard as fuck, yeah. I'm open, dog. Hell I'm yeah. open to everybody, but but some fools be asking for a little too much and and plus I you know, I got a, I got a, I got a whole squad of uh of hitters that 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 are dope ass rappers that, you know? So I ain't trying to come out of my pocket. I'll for see. sure, for sure. You know? Understood. Hey, is uh, is 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 any means still with uh Spanish fly? You know any means is a homie. He he's always like gonna be a part, but right now he's um doing his own thing. He's working on his own projects. Show. He has like a label and everything, so he he has he's he's doing his thing. For sure, for sure. Hey, buenas noches. Buenas noches, my bro. Thank you. Thank Have a blessed night, homie. Your call. Okay, let's keep it pushing. We missed about three phone calls, so make sure you guys call back. I eat foods one, Johnny D. Hell yeah, Johnny D in the building, dude. There be some dudes. Look, I'm gonna say this. There'd be some dudes that are popular and are trying to ask ridiculous prices for features. Oh, hell yeah. With no hits. Yep. So, call her your name and where are you calling from? This is the homie Kike from the city of Escondido. Kike, you never fail me, bro. Happy New Year, my brother. Happy New Year, big dog. What's up, Johnny D? What's cracking, homie? You know, my way. Hey, I got a question for you guys, dog. Well, I got actually I got a couple questions, but let me start off with this: Was this called with the wizard or drinking with the wizard, dog? Both. <laughs> no, it should be called well, sipping, and, I'm like, sipping, and sipping and tripping. Sipping and tripping. Sipping and tripping. Sipping and tripping with the wizard. You know what I'm saying? Hell sipping yeah. and tripping. I say. Hey, I got a question, guys. Talk to from, me from from uh, like a comparison standpoint. All right, would you would you say that any means is the trouble would trouble with the brown side or would any means is the Spanish fly? The troubles? 
No, you know, you know, trouble, trouble that collab with Brownside on on the takeover. Yeah, you know, I I would say. Um, okay, would you consider? Would I consider Sorry, him that troubles? I don't. No, I don't think so, bro. I think. Um, you, no, like, like what I'm talking about is like from a, from from what they contribute to the group from that standpoint. Would you consider what any means is to Spanish try as to what trouble with the brown side? Oh, okay. That sounds about yeah. You know what? Yeah, he did. He did contribute a lot. You know, he did, and he still we still have music with him. Yeah. So I would say yeah. Yeah, that's a good outlook on it. You know what I'm saying? And and oh, he's uh, he's dope bro. as fuck, and that's the homie. Yeah. So no, he like, could he, got, look look. Bro. We got we got shit. We got some other shit we're gonna work on too. So that's he can sure. definitely spit. So. He's a fucking he's he a dope spit, ass bro. artist. Hands down. Uh, that's dope. Thanks for that input. Hey, uh, uh, one more question. Um, does, does anybody know, like, or still have any whereabouts on where Frank B's at? Nothing, bro. Nothing. Not even Ernie G. And I talk to Ernie G every so often, and I always ask him the same question. He just says, nothing, bro. Nobody knows. I don't care what anybody says. There's a guy on Facebook with a fake page claiming he's Frank B. He's not. There's a guy on Instagram, and I think it's the same guy claiming he's Frank B, and he's not, bro. The, the two stories that me and Ernie G have heard are not good. Some people say yeah. he is still in jail, which I doubt. And then some people say that he lost his mind and he's just living on the streets, I guess, of Portland or Oregon or whatever. But like lost in the sauce type shit. Yeah, bro. Like he's not even there no more. Like for, again, yeah, uh, again, this is just hearsay, but those are the two hearsay yeah. stories. So yeah. Yeah. Something, that, uh, something to bump was my jam, dog. Yeah. Something to bump. Yeah. That was on the second album, bro. That shit was hard, bro. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, shit, it's funny, man. bro. You know who was the first person I played that for? Believe it or not, when Night Owl came to my house, 1994. Came to my house. I, I, he, he said, oh, you got anything new? And I said, you want to hear the new proper dose shit? Played it for him, bro. And he was like, holy shit. And I go, we got to step up our game because I was going to produce for Night Owl. Yeah. But him living so far, you know, today we can work on Logic. We can work on Pro Tools and we can email beats and stems to each other. We didn't have that back then. We had a two-hour fucking drive going back and forth, bro. But uh, I do believe that if me and I would have worked, we would have came up with a fucking banger, bro. But, you know, it never happened. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. Hey, you know what's crazy? You talking about that equipment, fool? Earlier today, I was um, I was watching your interview with uh, Ralph M., the Mexican. Yes. Yeah, fool. That's it. If anybody wants to learn or learn about all this equipment or how to fucking start making shit and doing this and that, dog, look at that interview. Who it's a fucking manuscript. And start you, looking bro. into equipment and do that. Yeah. Kike, you know we did two of them, right? Yeah. So with that being said, when is it going to be part number three? Well, I'm gonna. Hopefully, I'll see him at the end of the month because I plan to go to the Nam show. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll see him there, bro. So. Uh. Hopefully I can bring them back, bro, because I got more shit coming out, bro. More shit coming out. I can't wait to everybody to hear the new track that I'm going to have for my intro for Rodian Radio. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to revamp our whole intro, bro. You got to get me on a track for the Rodian Radio, dog. I'll fuck that shit up. You know what? Now you're giving me an idea. Yeah. So Send that shit. Let's get and it. you know who's going to mix it, bro? I'm going to tell you who's going to mix it. Tony motherfucking G. Eee. Tony G. Oh. That's the homie. Bro, let me tell you something. Tony A ain't Tony G in the building. Now you know you're in trouble. So uh, <laughs> just wait to, uh, and I got a whole new intro, bro, for Rodian Radio. So yeah, bro, I, I think it's time that, that I, I really come back to the center stage and start product, 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 product. I fucking sound like <laughs> Dappy Duck right now, bro. I start producing again and letting people know that, you know, I'm back. Yeah. You no. Know, yeah. Hit me up for beats, but I'm not cheap. And I'm not an easy person to work with, so. $20 beats on deck, homie. Exactly, so. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kike. I appreciate yeah. you, homie. Hey, Kimo, you guys have a good night, dog. Good have night a blessed one. Thank you. I fucking sound like Daffy Duck on that motherfucker. <laughs> Or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Or like fucking, <laughs> how did Porky Pig? Do? That's all, that, 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 That's all, folks. I can't even do that shit, bro. <laughs> Something like that. Something okay. Like that. Let's keep it pushing. Uh, let's see. We missed another three phone calls. So once again, we'd like to say if you got the balls, make the calls. You want to call in and ask us whatever. Here we go. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Yo, what's up, Tony A? What's up, Tony A? Johnny B? Oh, got shit. Out, no, 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 no. What's good, my bro? <laughs> well, what's up, well, Let it be me, What's cracking, homie? Let it be homie? Let it be <laughs> what's cracking, little homie? 
Huh? What's cracking? Get down here, fool. Your phone sounds a little muffled, yeah, bro. I'm on my way right now. Okay. All right, little G. Come come through there. Shout out. What's up, Tony? Rodium Radio. Got the copies. Johnny D in the building. You know what time it is. Y'all don't know. Let them know. Let them know who's on the line, Johnny D. Is that Mox? It's M O C. M O C. Hey, if you're going to come down, bring some pata de mula. Yeah. Ooh, that pata de mula. Y'all ain't ready, man. I've been hollering pata de mula for three. Hey, man. Well, you couldn't finish the dozen essay. You remember that? Ooh, I killed it, man. I only left one on the plate out of 24. <laughs> pata de mula. If you can we eat that you. shit, you can eat anything, homie. No hey, shit. Hey, <laughs> but anyway, look. Check this out. Hey, most see the Spanish fly? You know what most see the Spanish fly? Like, you will get to the whole island. If they really want to know. I, I can barely hear him, yeah, bro. I can barely hear you, my G. You sound muffled. Uh, are you on a Bluetooth right, or something? Let me, let me stop screaming and let me say that again. MOC, the Spanish flies like Gilligan to the whole damn island. Oh, it's like oh, Gilligan shit. to the whole damn island. Hell yeah. There it is there. Gilligan. There it is yeah. there, my bro. Gilligan staying wet. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gilligan, Gilligan with the two highness. I'll, I'll be over here. I'm over here biting my nails and shit watching this shit, man. Keep <laughs> that shit real, Johnny. Hell yeah, you know what time it is, though. Always keeping it real. Absolutely. Keep right. it 100 all day, every That's day. That's right. Well, yep. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm see you, Johnny, on Monday at the coast. Forever, forever Restless, dog. LOA. Yep. If it, it ain't hip hop, then hip hop your coast. ass away. Shit. I take my rhymes out the glass display. You should have let hell gone yeah. take you away. Don't let your mouth get you carried away. Carried away. Carried away. <laughs> well, my baby mama saw some drama with my own thing. <laughs> Anton LaVey. Nah, nah. <laughs> no, 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 because he's gay. Fuck <laughs> all Hey, <laughs> well, let, let me say this. Let, 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 all right, take this out. Man, Tony, yeah, you dope as shit, man. Your beast. Banging this shit. Thank you, my bro. I need a fucking crack on that shit. I need a. Look, I know you had Mr. Little on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was a little jealous. I was just little got that shot because I would have spoiled it. I would have spoiled it. Bro, I would have you... killed it. I would have been the next one to see the boom. I would have been the next superstar. I would have been the next Celeman 8. Let's go see, baby Spanish fly. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Shout out to any me. <laughs> Let them know the truth. Let them know the real. That's the real. You know what time it is. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, well, my brother. Say- they say, if the shoe fits, then wear that motherfucker like a high heel. I'm eating like a king while you begging to get your seat still. Unpredictable, nearly what they handouts. Always taking losses, hoping to get they plan out. I took this hip hop that I mixed. <laughs> Got blessed by the MOC. So, you know, this shit hot. Okay. Damn, Damn, dog. Hey, look, book that shit, man. There's concerts going on all around the world. All these kind of rap concerts and shit. But Spanish flying out on the motherfucking field. Shout out to Lil Rob for putting us on. Much love, much respect. This is what we're doing 2024. We call it out. I'm going to be like Lil Quede. You know Lil Quede? I'm going <laughs> to proclaim the throne. I'm proclaiming the throne. Shit. All good. Oh, yeah. Thank you, my bro. But no, but no hey, Chicano Rap Canejo, Festival, that's for sure. Shout out to Conejo. <laughs> Shout out to Conejo for putting on us a yeah. nightmare oh, before yeah. Christmas, rocking it at Brownsville in the motherfucking building. Spanish Fly 2024, OC, Mexican 20th anniversary tomorrow, January 13th. I got the Super Creído remix. Woo! Ooh. Going down like yeah, Rick Flair, baby. Super Creído. Super Creído, the fucking hey, fire Tony, I'm, song. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for my invite, Tony. Or else I'm going to be knocking <laughs> on yeah. that ball. No, no. Come, <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're going to be hearing from me soon. As a matter of fact, Johnny, do yeah. me a favor. Text Let's him go. my number. Yeah. And, right. and, and and you know what I mean. Uh, Mokes, he's going to be texting you my number, okay? Ooh. Hit me, please. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll my brother. Real. I'm going to be a motherfucking square. Absolutely. Right. Stay blessed, homie. Good night. That's Peace. Right. All right, my boy. One. Okay, let's go. Uh, once again, if you got the balls, make the calls. Uh, one thing I want to say about Mokes, I had him here on Dining with the Wizard, and he called out Aquid, both of them, for yeah. a verse for yeah. verse. So, uh, Francisco what, Sergio what is calling you out. About Mokes? Hold on one second. Oh, Caller, your name, or where are you calling from? Hey, what up? Lottis from West Texas. Lottis from West oh, Texas. Shit. What's know going on, Yeah, I know that voice. 
What's going on, y'all? Cracking. Talk to kicking me. it with Anton Lawey. <laughs> Anton Lawey? <laughs> <laughs> nah, none of that Anton shit. Anton Lawey. No way. Anton Lawey. Uh, no, no, you know what? It's like that. Like hey, that so once. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. No, I was just going to ask you what's the topic for tonight. No, it's just calls, bro. We're just talking shit. That's all. Shooting the shit. Shooting the shit and drinking. Okay. Yeah, hey, I wanted to ask you, Tony. Um, you, you heard about the the new, uh, that shit they're trying to do with the, the voting thing, with the, with the ballots in the primaries, right? Yes. Um, before they were trying to uh, railroad Trump, you know, any which way they could with the, with the legal system. Yes. They couldn't do it. So, so now what they're doing, they're trying to disenfranchise voters. Yes. So now it's become personal. It's become personal. They're, they're going after the people. And um, at the same time, talking about protecting democracy while, uh, you know, disenfranchising voters, taking away people's right to, to vote for the candidate of their choice. So uh, I just wanted to encourage everybody to get out there and vote for the even necessarily got to vote Republican, but definitely not not the people that are trying to, uh, you know, run a little banana republic dictatorship here, you know, and yeah. uh, take take away your right to vote because when they take away your right to speak, you, you don't got you don't got much, you know. No, you're absolutely right, bro. And I agree yeah. with you, bro. Thank you for bringing that up, that that great point, bro. You're always coming with some dope shit for us, bro. Truly appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, before before I go, I wanted to um. Uh, you know, I, before I, you know, a while back I've been working with some people. I've done some engineering and producing here and there with uh, with some groups, uh, both here in Texas and and before I moved out of Cali, I was uh, doing that out there. And we had uh, we had been working with uh, with the talk boxes, uh, oh, sure, you know, yeah. the, the voice boxes, that, yeah, like, like that Roger used and that Magic Girl, yeah. Um, and, and you know, every so often people would get the the right sound, you know. They, they some some didn't get it right. Some blew out their amps trying to trying to fuck with it. Um, we had a uh, we, we were working with the Rockstron Banshee. Uh, before that, we had a uh, we had the one that Peter Frampton used. Uh, it, was, it was made by Hale. Oh yeah, H-E-I-L. yeah. I L. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I mentioned this before on on the chat, but I, I I rarely hear people get the sound right. And I wanted to give a shout out to Magic Girl because I've listened to I listen to her stuff every so often and. Gotta say, she she gets the sound just right, yes. and you know I can really appreciate that that she's mastered that craft. And I know she said on her on her latest album, she's she's probably not gonna do do much of the talk box anymore. Or, you know, right? She's gonna put that away for a minute. Yeah, no, that's what she said on on this record that I'm I'm co-producing. Ninety uh, percent of the production yeah. is done by her. Uh, the engineering part is done by DJ Dominator and. Uh, I, the third pair of ears is me, and all I do is like, nope, yeah. uh, change that snare. Uh, let's add a clap here. I don't like that hi hat. Let's add a new kick. That's what I do. So, but you know what? Yeah. Uh, no features because I told her this: if you cannot pull your own weight, then you don't need to be singing. It's all going to be singing, bro. Oh, that's dope. So believe me, bro. We're gonna, so we're gonna have about seven songs on this album or EP or whatnot, and honestly, it's gonna knock motherfuckers out of. I gotta, I gotta hear that shit. Yeah, so I can't wait to release yeah. it, bro. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward. To, yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing her new stuff, and I, I hope, I hope you know sooner or later she does talk talk box and brings that back every so often because uh, uh, that's that's a really good. She, she got that sound just right. I gotta say, and you know, I can't emphasize that enough. And um, I really appreciate uh, you know all the all the work she does and put in put it into her craft. And I was watching that video she did with the uh, electro spit that new talk box that came out. Yes, and. Um, that that's very that's gonna be very promising for people that want to work with these because they're a lot easier to use than the uh, than the predecessors you know from the past. So uh, I just want to give, give a shout out to her for that and uh, you know like I said, looking forward to all that new stuff coming out. Absolutely, hey Lottis, don't forget that whenever you're in LA, I want you here, bro. You're gonna be my guest. Yeah, I'm I'm actually uh, t- t- talking it over with uh, my people here, and we're gonna I'm gonna see if I can you know possibly make it out there this year. And uh, when I do, I, I definitely like to come by and, uh, and chop it up with y'all. No, definitely, bro. Let, let me know. And uh, once dope. again, we'll do a dope episode with you, bro. Appreciate you calling in, my bro. It's okay. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, be- be- before I go, I got to leave you with this. Uh, Cali Fools, they pour Bud Light on the curb for the hotels that ain't here. <laughs>
That's a good one. Oh, that, thank man. you, my bro. All thank right. you. Peace. No, All Cali right, Foods pour uh, Bud Light down a uh, IE Foods butt cheeks. Nah, I mean. Okay, here we go. Uh, Caller your name or where are you calling from? It's your deal. Oh, there you go. With the giant Cheeto. Hey, is this the is this the meaning of the Chicloso? Oh shit! Oh, I know who this is. I know exactly who the fuck this is. <laughs> it's Dirty Dash. Who, who the fuck is it? Dirty fucking Dirty Dash. Dash. <laughs> I say. I say Dash. Oh, Dash. Hey, Dash loves that Chicloso. fucking Chicloso. The Chicloso master. Hell yeah. <laughs> the drunken Chicloso. Yeah, we're the drunken, the drunken. What's up, Pesce? Well, Mokes called in, you called in. This completes the holy, right the holy trinity of Spanish fly. Oh, yeah. So. We're, we're drinking to Ese Daz. I'm calling Ese, you out. Hey, we're drinking, we're drinking for Ese Daz to find time. Yes, please <laughs> find time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, homie, you know. Now, nah, I'll be there, homie. Hey, my daughter, homeboy, that's why, you know. Of course. Certain days, I got to, uh, you know, got to be that. that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a girl dad, homeboy, you know. Of course. Fucking, uh, but you know I'll be there, bro. You know, you know what's up. Absolutely, bro. Set that up, Tone. I believe you, bro. I trust you, you Daz. No, we, we, def- we definitely got to make it happen, yeah. bro. Uh, uh, if not, you got to sleep at your mom's crib because we're going to do the drinking with the wizard. Hell yeah. And I'm trying to get you fucked up oh, so, you can start, yeah. so you can start confessing even lies. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Hey, we're going to tell I, I, I got to be careful with that. I heard not a Johnny Deke that got your way, so I got to be through that with that. Yeah, he did. Well, he <laughs> fell, and he, but he did the kick worm. He did the kick worm, and he, kick stood worm. Back. he stood back up. Well, wow, shit, we had to walk like four Damn. blocks to get to the crib and shit. I couldn't even find my car the next day, Damn. dog. Smokey, shut up. No, he threw up his menudo Fuck all over that. me. <laughs> menudo. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hey, yeah, some of the boxers really are drinking yeah, Vanu, though. Want to call yeah, in. yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 Daz, though, but um, let people know where to reach you on Instagram for tracks, bro, because I know you've been knocking them out, out the yeah, box yeah. lately, bro. Hey, muchas gracias, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, you can find me at uh, Daz 110 South on Instagram. Mm. Daz 110 South. Yeah, hit me up, man. Shout out to YouTube. You know, I got a gang of shit, bro. Hell yeah, yeah. YouTube is uh, Spanish Fly Original TV. Dope, dope. And then the Esther Daz One Ten South is also on YouTube. Esther Daz One Ten South. Oh yeah. Okay, I don't want to give out too much because I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring bring him in for a cause. So, so Daz, we got to get together, bro. Boy. I'll at least let you know a couple of weeks ahead of time yeah, so you can make stuff. plans. Okay. Okay. Yeah, speak to his manager, dog. Okay. And no, then we'll yeah, go yeah, from yeah. there. Let's set that up. But you know what? Real quick before I go, bro, uh, I I heard you mention the whole battle on you. DJ One on One and Tony. That was classic. I remember that. Shit. Thank you, my bro. I'm from Carson, man. So I. I was like one on one at the time. I didn't know you, bro. Of course, so, it's all good. But, but you got him. You got him. It's all good. <laughs> I'm about to post that video on it's the members. Much, much there up, you guys. go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I want to check that out, bro. I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Thank you, my bro. Tell right, Smokey hey, to keep it down. Eh? All right. All right. Peace. <laughs> hey, hey Alex. Right, do we still have that become a member banner that you can put up? Oh, I'll look for it. Okay. Uh, fuck. This fucking tequila is fucking delish. That's hitting right. My huh? daughter hit, taught me how to cut my words in half. Not del- like she, de- it's not delicious. It's delish. delish. If you want to say Starbucks, Starbs, Starbeezies. Oh, yeah, Starbeezies. <laughs> Here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Uh, Charlie from Bakersfield. Charlie, how you doing? Hey, Charlie. Uh, pretty good. Hey, what's up, Wizard? What's up, Johnny D? How you guys doing tonight, man? Oh, good. bro, we're starting to get fucking drunk. Starting to get a little, a little tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> It's that, Friday night. I right. just got paid. That's right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, uh, my bad, fellas. I don't mean to take up too much of your time. Hey, um, quick question. Have you? Uh, did you guys ever uh, hear any of uh, Immortal Technique, uh, any of his songs? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. He's an under- yeah. Big time. Who's on? Underground rapper. Yeah. Man, um, I just wanted to say, man, a um, uh, uh, couple of his jams. Well, one of his jams, man, uh, it's called The Cause of Death. Uh, man, have you guys ever heard that song? Or it, it's, it's you know wild, what? man. It trips. I gotta out check it out. It, yeah, it trips. Yeah, man. It um, uh, it's just uh, the things he talks about on there, bro. It's like um, like uh, it just trips me out, like how the world is now, and uh, like ever since like you know the whole NWO back in, like when uh, the Twin Towers fell and all that. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to bring. I just wanted to bring that song up, man. You know how you guys are, we're always talking about like, you know, conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories and all that. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, 
But yeah, um, but all right, fellas. Well, hey, man, you guys have a good night, brothers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Likewise, Absolutely, bro. bro uh, much love and respect to Bakersfield, bro. Thank you for calling in, taking the time, bro. Hell yeah. Appreciate you. Have a drink on us, dog. Yeah, thanks, fellas. Peace. Okay, come on. We're going to take a few more phone calls. Let's go. Uh, you know, I appreciate people that respect our time and say, you know what, I'm going to let, because they're mindful of other callers. And I like that, bro. I appreciate so that. Shout out to the Blackout Podcast. Yeah, Harvey's. absolutely. It's my boy right there. What's up? Here we go. Odeon, we got to record that song, doggy. Call it your name or where are you calling Let's get from? It. Oh, shit. I made it through. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is my 20th time calling. Hey, bro. I made Thank you. Let the viewers know. Thank you. What's up, my boy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's speak. up, Johnny B? Speak, SS, yes, speak. What's up? I, I shout out 2024, Year of the Truth, right? Year of the Truth. The Year of the Truth. Hell yeah. That's right. That's right. Now, for the people that are just now, you know, the new the new fans that are not catching on to uh, Spanish Flies, I was hoping you could clarify why there might be two Spanish Flies out there. Clarifying this and how again. how that happens. Spanish Fly, the originators of the game is uh, Rich Rock and um, Acid Daz and Tricks. That's the original group. Right after that, yeah. like when they took a minute, a break, then we had a we had a a, a special guy that put a, a bootleg Are version you? of him out, a bootleg version of Spanish Fly, which is OG Spanish Fly, which they're saying right here that he has that bigger was, numbers. Really? Yeah. So what and he did fuck? yeah, it was some disrespectful back from the dead bullshit in the casket. But we put him back in the what casket. The fuck? But yeah, so hey, that's what's yeah, up, he man. came that he came out, did his thing, and um. They just marketed off the name, bro. It's it's a story I always talk about. That doesn't sound like a respect a respectable guy, man. No, he's not respectable. That sounds period. like a real leech. He ain't no OG. He ain't, yeah, he ain't well, nobody. But right. he's out there somewhere, you know. You know, so he's trash. But well, he made a little bit of money off of it. He needed he it. Have you know? cocksuckers making them big. Yeah. <laughs> Who, put him out? Have these Who put them out? Who them out? Bigger yeah, than yeah. He be. I think it was Royal T. Royal T put him out. Ah, oh, that fucking fart in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> 2024, you have the truth, right? Hey, it's a year of the truth, my it's boy. A year of the truth. I, you know what? If it's always brought up, like I said, man, um, like I'm always going to speak on it when it's brought up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I have no, uh, I have mm-hmm. no issues with royalty, but it's just part of history, bro. They try to, they try to market off the name, which they did, and they made money off it. So okay. I'll stop talking about it once That's he gives the money back. There it is. There. I'll never bring it up again. I'll never speak on it again once Royal starts breaking bread with that OG Spanish fly money. Well, do you know why they call him royalty, That's right? That's right, he owes you. Yeah. Somebody he told me. And, and, and everybody else, but, you know. No, but allegedly. Why? You know why they call him royalty? Why? Because he takes everybody's why? royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Take your royalties. <laughs> Come on, Alex. <laughs> so. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's what it was. You know, they did their, he did his thing, dog, and then he went over there and, um, he had one. He had one hot album, and then that was that, bro. He he did some other bullshit. Well, I wouldn't just, call that guy a legend. Yeah, it, oh, it, he ain't no legend. He he had some shit. Like they play his, you know, they play it. That shit got popular off the Spanish flying name, dog. They take you take a break. It. You're gonna have wow. some fucking weirdos That's putting some shit, shit out that make no sense. Yeah, you know? it was hot in Turkey. That's some real dirty shit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was big in Turkish prison. <laughs> Anyways, all right, my bro. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys. Have so, my boy. All right. Peace. That's right. All right. Yeah. It was hot in Turkey. So. <laughs> My shit was number one in Lebanon. But there's that. There's, there's a gang of fucking Spanish flies. Though. There's some food from uh, New York. There's that uh, that fucking soft ass group from um, from San Francisco. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Spanish fly Twinkies, whatever they're called. Um, Twink. And um, shit, bro. Like. Here we go. Let me see. So, yeah. You know. Call it your name or where are you calling from? <laughs> That shit is crazy. A song was hot in Turkey. Well, I'm on the line. I'm sorry about that. This is Shazzy. Shazzy. Houston, Texas. Shazzy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. OG Spanish Fly has more listeners than Spanish Fly. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Talk, girl. It's cracking. How you doing, Mr. John D? I think I actually met you at Urban Con. Urban Con, Con yeah. Plan. I was there with uh, MOC and his son. A little body mm-hmm. My boy. Shout out to little body Gotti, my boy. Yeah, I was with the, I was over there with Brownsville, and I was over there performing with uh, Lottie the G at Urban Con. I wasn't invited to perform, but I went over there to perform with the homie. FYI. 
Oh, so you crashed in the place. All right, let me get <laughs> let me get to the questions quick. <laughs> she, you gotta book the flight. That's all good. Okay, so I just have a uh, one question. Johnny, would you ever do a corrido? I feel like you know what, I you would. may actually be able I to would. do a corrido, but no, you, you I, I could put, it, yeah. you know, a soulful spin on it. No, I, I could definitely put that. I can definitely do that. Anything that involves any kind of sort of singing or any anything, I can, I can, I can happen. I can make it happen. Um, I grew up off that, so I grew up off oldies, or, uh, every, every every type of music, every genre. I um, I grew up on even alternative. I remember, I already um I recently wrote a song. Uh, it's kind of like a, I would say like a rock touch or like a like alternative, kind of like a Nirvana, like a Nirvana kind of style. Mm. And I, I just had a, I had a vibe and I, I created it. So that's something I got to record. It's going to be really big, I think. Okay. Maybe, maybe my mind is uh, going a little off whack, but I can imagine a corrido that has a soulful G funk feel to it. That'd be that sick. is something yeah. that would yeah. be different. Yeah. Definitely, definitely different. Oh, yeah, could you produce that? You know, you know who's going to help me do that is my boy MOC. May he climb. He's he's a master at that. Really? He's you a, producing? Yep. No, not producing. He's gonna help me write it. And that's oh, a Daz. That'd be cool. Daz is Daz is his uh, rapping in Spanish is off the chain. He's dope as fucking Spanish. Yeah. So yeah. they're gonna help me write that. I don't even need like what with the Spanish though. Yeah, I need a little help with that. So they're gonna assist me on that, and I guarantee it's gonna be fire. And I'll bring that. I'll bring it to it. So get yeah, like a soulful. It 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 a bridge a it a bridge a sick ass gap. You know. It'd be like uh, Snoop Dogg want to sign me after this shit. Yeah. Right, that's cool. All right, thank y'all so much. I won't take up any more time. Thank you, Shazzy. You're a blessing. Have a blessed night. Okay, let's go. Let me see. Uh, oh, God, right. Drink it with the wizard. Yeah. All right, let's go, everybody. Uh, let's see who's going to call in now. Uh, let me see. Let me check my MySpace. Let's see who's in. Yeah, MySpace. Who left me a message? Here we go. Call it your name or where are you calling from? I think you're calling from Mexico. Oh shit! Hey Tony, yes, it's PC from Tijuana. Tijuana, hell hey, yeah, hey. hell yeah. How you doing tonight? Hey, hey, hey! Happy New Year! I'm Happy doing Year's. good. How are you doing? I'm a little buzzed now, to be honest with you, but <laughs> I'm fucking good because it's Friday night. I just got paid, and um, I'm on the phone with you. Yeah, let's go. That's right, Friday. <laughs> Friday, <laughs> high day. What's hey, Johnny B, what's, what's cracking? Up? What's cracking? Talk to me. Hey guys, just wanted to yeah, just wanted to call you guys. Great show, even though it's like guy talk or whatever I just, you know <laughs> great show it's nice to see you guys have fun and sit online you know it, it um it brings a smile to our face anyway you know even if it's guy talk no definitely they're having fun shoot the shit that's take no shit that's oh. what it's called hell yeah shoot the shit and take no shit that's, that, no? that's right guys well hey happy 2024 okay likewise 20. and check yeah. out my music guys you see the g Tijuana, woo! Absolutely. Continue to, D, to DM, uh, you know, your music. And whenever you're in L.A., please let me know ahead of time so I can bring you on, okay? All right, Tony. That's right. Thank you. Take yeah. care, okay? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Call me on that. Seriously, call me on that, and uh, I'll bring you on because cause that way I, I do think you deserve your shine. So let's do that. That's right. Oh, thanks, Tony. Hey, hey, the baby's here. in the background, Bye. huh? There you go. Absolutely. Bless. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like kind of like, like she has like an 11 number, you know, like whenever she calls. And I was like, this usually comes from Mexico. I don't know if you can see it right here, Johnny. See. see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know yeah right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's right. Oh, shit. Mexico. Okay, here we go. Right here. Call is your name and what are you calling from? Oh, you're talking to me nasty now, Poppy. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. Uh, hey, this is Chava, bro, from the 916. Como están? Chava. Kraken. Como estas? Big dog. Hey, Royo, bro. Saludos, man. Hey, that, can, uh, hold on, that, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you. Why do they call you Chava? Chava de Salvador. 
Chaba. Okay. All Mr. Good, my Mr. Lava Man. Salvador. <laughs> Salvador, like Kiki is, uh, Kiki is fucking Enrique, bro. Chava is Salvador. No, you didn't know that, Tony? No, you know what's funny, bro? Because my abuelita was named Isabella. And for some reason, they used to call her Chava. Ah, okay. It's weird how they got Chava from Isabella. So, yeah. But C-H-A-V-A? Yeah. Same spelling? Yeah, so that's why when I hear Chava, I always refer to a woman as a Chava. But all good, my bro. Ah, orale. You made it nombre, bro. So you're calling the homie a high now or what? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Wait. So. You want my measurements, bro? Or uh, no, 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 no. What the fuck? No, no, no. No. <laughs> too much bust. That says too much bust. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm fucking around. No, um, hey, John D, that, that, that latest YouTube video, that latest track you guys dropped is a banger. The Which live one? from the 101. The oh, live, live from, from the 101, 101 is a Self yeah, my bad. Your mouth. Ten. Yeah. Go ahead, bust a, bust a verse. Bro, that. Want the live from the 110? That's, I'll do the hook. Live from the 110. South fall up in your mouth. I'm just in it for the love. You just in it for the clout. Breathe in, then you breathe out. We rock skating, rope bounce. Live from the 110. It's a little song. All good. No. That's fire. So, but that shit, yeah, that's a banger. That w- that was in the vault for a minute, and um, I've been trying to shoot, shoot that video for a minute. But uh, now that we got um, LOA, man, LOA is our new concrete. Back in the days, concrete shot every single thing we did. But you know, my boy, concrete is hella busy, blowing up, doing his thing. Yeah, but we still fuck with him, and he still fucks with us. So, but LOA is a new guy. Hell he's yeah, a new, he's a new guy we got on deck. Hell yeah, he's a Spanish fly yeah, uh, that- Brownsville representative. You know That's saying? a good vibe, bro. That whole that that SA Dash track is is was done really nicely, and the way you guys between you and Hectic ripped that it, it came through just smoothly, bro. It's a, it's a good it's a good track. I was good gonna say know. it's um it's it's sad. I'm a 37 year old man, and I work with youth, and I'm up here in the Sacramento Valley, right? And I just had to see these you know 30 year old men, these 40 year old men, bro, just just promoting division, like. Like they're working for the government, bro. Like they're they want to see genocide on our people, and I just don't get it because then you see them on their IGs, and they got their daughter, and they're like, "Oh, my princessa," or like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Are you promoting that to your daughter, bro, to, to get out there and when she's 15 to go murder her own raza, bro? Like this shit is yeah. crazy, bro. It's 2023, and to piggyback off on just coming your other callers, Tony, because you have intellectual callers sometimes. That that bottle from Texas. Yeah. Talking about the voters' rights and how yeah. we're losing voters' rights. These are the fucking messages we should be putting into our, our rolas. And mm. uh, and then and then the other caller talking about Immortal Technique, who I listened to heavily when I was in college, who really opened up my mind. Like that third eye where you wanted to research this this historical Immortal genocide. Yeah. These 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 things that he was referencing that you never heard about in school, that you never heard your homies talk about. You never heard your grandparents talk about because we didn't have that education. My grandparents didn't know about these things, but now we do. And so like immortal technique, the voters, those are all relevant calls. And I just want to say like to any of us out there from East, West, North and South that has that platform, you know, remember that there's a hundred thousand people listening to you and following your lead. And when you're talking to a 15 year old, they're going to follow it like a sheep. They're going to follow it without question. And up here, and just like L.A., like our carnales in L.A., there's so much bloodshed and genocide on our own people. And it's a system ran by the government, by the state of California, a yes. prison system program. And respeto to anybody locked down and that has to survive those sentences sent down by judges and the system that is disconnected from our comunidad, respect. There's no push against your program. I understand it. I was a morro in a barrio at one point. Thank the grace of God never was locked up and kept one foot in, in, in school, kept one foot in education. And um, I just wanted to say that, you know, like, we we got to do a little bit better. Like, come on, get on. Like, let's, let's move forward together. Let's move. Let's move forward with force and demand respect, you know, from coast to coast as Latinos, as Raza, as Chicanos. And so 
Anytime I see a real hip hop head, man, I'm like, hell yeah, I love this shit. I'm about to slap this motherfucker. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, hell so, yeah. Uh, yeah. All, all good, my brother. Bro, thank you for no, we are, we are thank you bro, yeah. for sharing that. Thank you for sharing your thoughts, bro. It's greatly appreciated, bro, and I think the public needs to hear it. But it's true. I think we do need to stand for something, bro. No, definitely, you know, yeah. Especially for the next generation, and you're right, bro. So I appreciate that, bro. Right. Thank you for calling in. That's right. Yep, the new generation has so many doors that we didn't have, and let's let's leave those motherfuckers yep. open I, for I them and that, yeah. for our grandkids, you know. And, Absolutely. And 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 not get treated like we're, you know. Um, secondary dirt or we're the minority because we're the majority here. The 1846 Mexican American war changed the landscape. And, you know, there was a, a program called manifest destiny and these programs run by these prisons are, are pushing that same fucking shit where we're just fucking killing each other off and, and making money for the system. We got all these millions of men and women locked up in prisons that are fucking making millions of dollars for these prison industry corporations and the hurra. And, um, so, you know, um, I don't want to get too immortal technique on anybody or fucking <laughs> weird, but it's just the truth, you know? And these vatos that are, that are 40, they, hold yourself accountable, bro. Like the tongue can be a sword and just remember that. And if you're still got your foot in the barrio, that's fine. But like, remember people are listening. Young people are listening. Very and um, not everything is guerra. I mean, guerra always does cease at some point and not everything has to be about war. I, know, I understand there's times of war, but, Let's direct our, our weaponry at the right avenues so at that the right we can avenue, right you know, do better. Yeah. Absolutely, bro. That's it. That's Th- it. Thank you, my brother. Right. That's it. Thank have, you, bro. Have a blessing, man. Gracias, you guys. Have Gracias. a blessing. Igualmente, you guys. Later. Peace. Right, okay, we're going to take about two more phone calls, and then we're out of here, and then I want to uh, touch a little bit on some more hoochie mamas. Hoochie mama? <laughs> some manosa? Fuck. You know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nasty Vato bro Yo the phone lines are open The phone lines are open Come on Come on answer Call motherfuckers Exactly There was Theo Feeding you a Cheeto Call it your name Or where are you calling from What's up Tony Happy New Year This is Ray Rice Ray Rice I fucking knew it was you bro Thank you <laughs> Happy New Year homie Ray Rice has been a day thank, one thank to Rhodium Radio, bro. Oh, yeah, Ray Rice. What's up, sir? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Johnny D? I'm good, G. How you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tony, hey, would you ever get a public enemy on Rhodium Radio, Chuck D, and Flavor Flavor? I would like to see a public enemy interview. Okay, let me tell you this about Ch- uh, Flavor Flav. Okay. Flavor Flav was booked... And I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Adrian from Florida because that's his good friend. Okay. Uh, Flavor Flay was in, I don't know if he resides or just has a home in Las Vegas, but he's okay. in Las okay. Vegas and he was willing to drive down. Okay. And he talked to him. Everything was good. I was going to bring him here as a surprise mm-hmm. guest. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And his so-called mm-hmm. manager called up my boy Adrian from Florida and told him, oh, we're going to pass okay. on this. So I don't okay. know if Flavor Flav just said yes, and then had his manager say no. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but mm-hmm. I, I've had Flavor Flav booked, okay? And he was going to okay. be a surprise guest, mm-hmm. okay? Now, oh, okay. hopefully we can still make that happen. But now Chuck mm-hmm. D, you know what's crazy, bro? I could probably get Chuck D first before Flavor Flav. Damn. So, because okay. Chuck okay. D knows what time it is, right? Chuck, yeah. <laughs> bro, yeah. Let, me, let me tell you something, bro. Chuck D is the type okay. of guy that, and I would never do this. He's the type mm-hmm. of guy that I would go pay per view for. Yeah. 50, okay. 50 bucks to watch his interview. But I would never do that. Okay. Uh, it, it's just a hypothetical thing, bro. Chuck D is, yeah. uh, it, and I'm not saying he's a deity, but I'm, I'm just kind of, Johnny, I'm just trying to say this in a rap form. He's a rap god. Yeah. Just like no, uh, Rakim, yeah. just he's like KRS. Yep. Okay. Right, right. So my thing is that, like, if I had Chuck D here, bro, that's one of my childhood heroes. Um, that's right. I'm going to tell you who I'm shooting for. And okay. I'm, I'm close, close. 
Mm-hmm. There's just one guy that I want to get, and I don't care if anybody watches. This interview would yeah. be just for me. There's very few interviews okay. that I say, I don't care if anybody watches, these interviews are just for me. I'm going to name, name two. DJ Joe Cooley from right. Radio Joe Cooley. And DJ, yeah, yeah, Joe Cooley. And DJ Tony G, okay? I did those Joe interviews Cooley, for yeah. me. So now, right. if I get this guy on, I'm mm-hmm. doing this just for me. What about the Island Boys, dude? Right. Uh, we'll get. To- <laughs> so, so I'm going to tell you who, who I'm close to getting, and hopefully it works out. Curtis okay. Blood. Ooh, that'd be sick, right? There. Curtis Blow. Like Curtis Blow. That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Bro, you know what? Curtis Blow for me, as a kid, was the king of rap. Mm-hmm. So right, well, he was. yeah. So hopefully things work out, bro. Bro, I almost had Goldface here. You know, I almost had Raekwon here. But I don't want to talk about the yeah, almost. Right. You know? Yeah, you got to, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, but it's just like, yo, if it fits into my schedule, yo, I can't make it. Yo, I get it, bro. I get it. But I, yeah. really, I really, really would love to have, you know, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, and uh, Curtis Blow. But right now, the one that looks mo- most promising is Curtis Blow. Uh-huh. So hopefully we can make Curtis that happen. Blow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I said it. IE fools look like. My bad. IE fools look like Flavor Flay when they get sunburnt. <laughs> oh, <It's laughs> fair. God damn. My bad, G. Let's keep it going. I, oh, that's okay. I I DM'd you the uh, the scandalous uh, Rolling mixtape and the um, and the bullshit. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you've seen them now, but I DM'd you. I DM'd you those two. Yes, I saw them. Thank you, my bro. Okay. I appreciate that, Ray. Mm-hmm. Ray, no, um, no. What, where do you stay at, Ray? I, I stay in the IE. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Here's, oh, what, I, here, here's what I'm going to do, Ray, because you've been a day one. Okay. Whenever you see Thank an you. interview that you like okay. and you say, oh, my God, okay. so-and-so's going to be there, DM me. Okay. And I want you to okay. come in and be here with us in the studio. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. I want to do that for you, bro. Yeah, yeah. but you. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be in the live chat though, Sergio Pedro, dog. Yeah, tearing you up, but it's all good though. Okay. Um, it's all good. <laughs> no, but, no, but I'm serious, right? Okay, let me know whenever you see an interview, okay. you know that you like and you want to come through. I'm gonna give you that uh-huh. opportunity to come through and chill, bro. Okay. Okay, thank you. Not nah, real shit, my G. Oh yeah. All right, Ray. I'm gonna let you go, okay. my bro. We're gonna take one more phone call and then we out of uh-huh. here. Okay, thank you, Tony Yang. Stay blessed, my brother. Yeah, we're going, dog. Now, Ray Rice has been a, like a day forever. Long. Yeah, right. yeah dog, he's known. So, where's Spencer at, dog? Tony, Tony, Is that Johnny D, <laughs> Spencer Baca in the motherfucking building. Not real shit, my G. So we're gonna take one more phone call. Who's gonna be the last caller? If not, we're just gonna go ahead and end the night right here because Alex fucks with his Fridays and he's got a nice date tonight. Oh shit! So hell yeah, <laughs> he's about to get some punani. Here we go. Our chicloso, whatever it is. Yeah, call her your name. Where are you calling from? You're our last guy. caller. <laughs> Why the fuck you hang up? Here we go. Call her your name, but where are you calling from? You are our last caller. Come on, Spencer. Tony, it's Spencer Baca calling from Sacramento. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you, Tony. Uh, all love the Spencer though. It's all jokes, you know. Don't take it hard. It's uh, Jaden call for Sacramento. You killed that shit, dog. Oh, good, like my it. brother. What's good? You're our last caller, bro. Go ahead. Make a good hey. one. Hey, bro. First off, you know, I want to say the Drinking with the Wizard with Johnny D was the best episode of Drinking with the Wizard. That's right. He fucking, you killed all the drinks on there. That shit was, <laughs> wow. hey, that was, that shit was lit. That shit was definitely lit. I got in trouble with my girl that hey, next day and shit. My, <laughs> That's how good it was. Dog. Hey, my suggestion is, though, you know, I think Sugar Free would be crazy with Johnny D on Drinking with the Wizard. Eee, that would be sick. I know. I know. Dog, I'll, I'll recite his shit episode, and kill him with them freestyles, dog. Bro, Sugar Free likes Bud Light. Did you, did you see he, he loves on, uh, Bud Light. Oh, shit. Fuck, <laughs> really? He loves Bud Light. Ah, with Hennessy. Hey, they're about to want to fight me after the show. Yeah, straight Hennessey, up. Yeah. 
Oh, that shit be funny as fuck. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll make him make the beat on the table and rap. Kill that shit. Sugar free. Hey, that was just a quick, you know, quick call for me. I think you can take another one, Tony. Just a uh, quick call in, tap in. All good, my bro. Thank you, bro. All right. You, nice. just made that, you just made that happen, dog. Okay, one more caller. Let's go. Let's Who's go. Yeah, the let's last caller? Hey, shout out to Sylvia Lopez. She dropped $20. She said, great show, Tony. Saludos a todos. Sylvia Lopez, much Keep love. Keep calling out of the way. Thank, thank you. Much no, love. Uh, truly, truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for enjoying tonight. Yeah. Ellis, um, can you go ahead and, and give us the, the results of that question? Are you guys enjoying the show? Yeah, are you guys enjoying the show? 173 votes. 84% said, hell yeah, pero I smashed the like. <laughs> and 16% said, hell no, nah, I'm here to hate as usual. Oh, shit. There you go. Keep Thank you, 16%. Homie. But thank you, the other oh, yeah. 80%. Much love, much respect. Me la pela, hater. Yeah, exactly. Pela you know, back. Make home. sure you... Man. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Call her your name or where are you calling from? What up, what up? This is Alaway, Alewa. Oh, shit. What's cracking, my boy? What's good, my brother? How you doing? Hey. Chilling, chilling. Hey, my- I just want to I just wanna give a huge, huge, huge shout out to Spanish Fly for allowing me to capture their vision. You know oh, what I'm sure. saying? And, and, and doing what they're doing. This is the exclusive uh, videographer of Spanish Fly, bro. No shit. Yeah, he's the one that, he's our, he's our photographer, he's our videographer, all that, everything. Nah, I mean? Official. Go ahead, bro. Camp. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, he's bringing but everything Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Life. Big shout out to Johnny D. Big shout out to, uh, to Esther Daz. Big shout out to MOC for allowing me to capture their vision and, and, uh, and to, to, uh, take my place in the filming, you know? More to come, dog. We're, we're going to drop a video every month or every, every other two weeks, dog. You know what time it is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We busy right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, shout out to you, Tony A for doing your thing, man. Thank you, Hold my brother. Peace. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, my boy. Love over anger. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. We got a minute. Niners. <laughs> Niners. No, 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 no. Gotta hit him with that. Hold on, we got we got a phone call real fast. Let's All go. Right. Hello, hello, hello. Oh shit. Hello. Let me clear my throat. Who's this? Uh, Claire. Claire, how are you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for no for somebody that uh, that's just barely tuning in for the first time and they don't know who this is. This is one of our moderators, and her name is Claire. Claire. Yes. Claire, Claire don't so stare. So she got blocked. I did that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yo, this is Magic Girl. Magic Girl, you know what? Lot is called up to show you nothing but love. You know what? He did, and um, I just want to say thank you, Lot is, for acknowledging and appreciating the time that I take in my craft. See, it's a lot of people think... And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell a whole ten minute story about it, but a lot of people think that that talk boxing, like you could just buy a keyboard and a talk box and you're gonna sound like Roger Trotman. It doesn't work like that. No, like it doesn't. when I got when I got my first talk box, you guys can go back and watch in uh my interview with Tony actually, I think it was episode twenty four. Yes. And I pretty much broke it down. But now I've had some of the world's best talk boxers hit me up for my patches because they were wondering, how does this girl get that sound? Like I created my own patches. And so I have my own distinctive sound and it took a lot of time and also a lot of um, mentoring from other talk boxers to get the sound that I have. So for a lot of to notice that, like it, I, it truly humbled me because I'm like, wow, that's almost like, that's giving, that's almost like giving an engineer a compliment. Like, dang, I, I noticed how you added that EQ or that reverb or you lowered, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's, it's a huge compliment. So thank you, Lattice. I, I truly appreciate that. You, you know, Magic Girl, you, you know who you t- you know who appreciated her talk box? Eric Sermon from EPMD. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number two, can you talk about the, the, the talk box that goes around your neck? Uh, Electro spit. Oh, Electrofit, yeah. So Electrofit is the world's first tubeless talk box, and that was created by a good friend of mine, uh, Bosco Conte. And Bosco is behind a lot of West Coast um, music. Um, he he did, uh, like, E40, 
um, he was behind um, that one song that goes like, work out for me, work out for me. That was uh, Bosco. Okay. Um, oh. He's done a lot of talk box for like big records. And um, he invented the world's first tubeless talk box. Um, he invited me down to Oakland. Um, I'm not going to give a year because I can't remember right now. But um, it was a, uh, a few years ago. And he invited me down to Oakland to, it was actually the first prototype. So okay. the electro spit that I have was one of the first prototypes that Bosco had, and he gifted it to me. Um, we went down and had a studio session. We did some footage, some promotional videos, and it's really dope because it's it's truly wireless. Like it it stepped up like my A game on stage because I'm. It, it went from being stuck behind the keyboard because I gotta you know make sure that the tube is plugged into the top box where I can literally grab my micro cord that has just has batteries in it and walk away. I don't need any of that. Bro, if you watch her episode here, it's like having headphones on your neck. Crazy. And yeah. she's just playing like keyboard and she could talk box. Like yeah. it's a And you can even do it on your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. bro, yeah. like DJ Quick wanted that and it doesn't have it. So, wow. so, uh, and, and you know what? Her first interview, I think, how old were you? You were like 25? I was, I was 24. 24. Wow. Fuck. And bu bu busting that shit, bro. Yeah. So, yo, Magic Girl, much love, much respect to you. Thank you for educating us. Thank you for blessing us. Uh, truly appreciate you. Please let everybody know how many features are you going to have on your new record? None. Uh, uh, how many songs are going to have talk box on them? None. None. So. None. Gotta let that uh, that voice shine, you know. Absolutely. You have to. I think. I think um, it, it's important to kind of um, step away. I mean, the talk the talk box opened so many doors that I couldn't have opened on my own so quickly. Um, so I, I truly appreciate um, all of the the love and the fan base that I that I gained, you know, doing the talk box. And being one of the few female talk boxers, because I think the only other female talk boxer that's actually like has a following um, bigger than mine, um, I can't remember her name, but she's from Japan and she tours with like um, the, the Zap uh, cover band in Japan. Oh, and I oh, believe, shit. and I I believe, if I'm not mistaken, she actually did a couple shows with the actual Zap band here in the U.S. But don't quote me on that because I'm not 100 percent sure. That was kind of just something I heard through the grapevine. Um, but other than her, there was really no females doing it. Now I see more and more female talk boxes, and it's exciting because over the years, I've had the privilege to mentor at least four or five uh, girls who parents reached out to me and were like, hey, you know, my girl was inspired. I, I want to get her a talk box. Do you mind showing her what do I need? And and I was able to help them out and, and mentor these girls and, and like, get them to start doing music and it's like super dope like it's something fun um the top now with the electro spit anybody can do it um so it makes it that that easier but um going back to this album there's going to be no talk box um and That's also a, a lot of people um we're going to lay magic girl to rest absolutely so um it's a complete rebranding so from here on out it's just forever genesis and that's what it's going to stay because that's how it, what it should have been from the beginning so this is rebranding and i believe that rebranding also means um changing your your product so it's oh, going to be a totally different thing magic i have one last question for you mm -hmm. how many shots have you had tonight more than you that's for sure oh, shit. <laughs> i took like six Six, so, Johnny, should we invite her to drinking with the wizard? Yeah, if she can handle it. Hey, you know what I was thinking? I thought that sugar free was a very, very good suggestion, and I was like, you know what'd be crazy? Tony A, Johnny B, sugar free, and Magic Girl, and Nocturnal. No, 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 and Nocturnal. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? And I think Tony can vouch for me because. <laughs> and I think maybe Alex can too because I, you know, I've talked to Alex a few times and we've got clown around. But I think I've actually behaved in front of camera, so I don't think anybody's actually heard me talk shit. So I think I have to hold my own 
at, at that table with all of you. <laughs> oh shit! And uh, that's yeah. some. Hey, you've been some big dog shit. All you right. know what I'm saying? All right, Magic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Much love, much respect. Blessings to you. Thank you. Yep, definitely. Appreciate you. Likewise. You guys have a good night. Blessings. Yeah. Peace. Hey, watch out for Esther Daz on the talk box. He's killing it right now. Exactly. Our keys, too. Actually okay. behaved Turn it down. We're going to take one more phone call because someone in the live just had t- Gilbert Ortiz because if you become a member, he said, Tony, take one more phone call. So Gilbert Ortiz, Gilbert Ortiz I'm doing this for you. I'm over here slurring my motherfucking words, and I'm already down for a Mexican pizza with Taco Bell. He also he also no, he's delivering it. He yeah. also dropped five dollars. He said, "Good show tonight. I've seen every show since episode one, one hundred. Thank you, Gilbert you Ortiz is a day one. He's an or- dog, Ortiz Hold baby. Yeah, Gilbert Ortiz, big dog. I'm gonna say this right now, bro, because people like you are a blessing to to me and my team, bro. Whenever you see an artist, hold on. Whenever you see an artist that you love and you want to meet, hit me on a DM, bro, and I will, um, you know, I'll I'll invite you over to come meet them. Come meet them, take a picture, whatever. Thank you, Gilbert. Appreciate you, homie. So once again, we're going to go ahead and give one one more phone call. If you don't want to call, don't call. But uh, we're giving people the opportunity. So uh, other than that, I'm going to fucking sit. Let's see it. I need another beer, bro? Drink mine. Huh? Alex, can you give me another beer, bro? Okay. I don't know how many beers are left, but uh, let me know. We only drank like two beers, dog. Don't trip. <laughs> I, no, I drank three. How many? Yeah, two. And so like, one more Corona. No, just two. Give him the Modelo. Give me the Corona. Yeah. Not a new Vato, but I'm certified and slightly used. Child of the sun, I put my city on the spark to few motivated. By the visuals and not the daily news. Murder everything you put in front of me, you hunt for views. The homie not got me thinking, so I cut the brew. How you litter than the licks without a point to prove? If it ain't hip-hop, then hop your silly ass away. Focus on yourself and mold your craft and prove your accolades. I made a move to hit the top, yet a pinnacle. Remove the cancer out of my life while using physical. Suffering suck a tash. I gave it a simple walk by. Say it with your chest, give it energy, let the song cry. I need your full attention, giving it like your phone died. Dads, give me the green light, stop about to let the beat ride. It's an uphill battle in a, in a one way. You lack the ability, so you know you can't stay, homie. You can't fucking stay. <laughs> Fuck all you who didn't have the balls to make the calls. I'm about to fucking disconnect us. Because you motherfuckers. We have one more live chat. Go ahead, go ahead, go, bro. Um, the name is uh, Love Them Killers. Uh, they dropped five dollars. They said, "Hey Tony, would you ever have anyone from the old school Brown Pride from the Harbor area on your show?" Go do, ahead, speak on. Do you that, know bro. if they are still around? Thanks. Let's go. MC Pest will you eventually be on here. Right now, he's working on a documentary. He's he's knocking that out. Then he's gonna be on here. Because if anybody knows his history, it's going to be Tony, dog. So Absolutely. So that's my boy, MC Pess. You know, he's from the neighborhood. You know, you know what it is. It's a weed monster. So you can take these headphones off. Okay. So once again, you know what? Absolutely. Because their story needs to be told. Because there's brown pride and then there's brown side. Yeah, definitely. So we need to talk about that. Like who came first? That's the big question. Ooh. Funky, funky Al Street. Exactly. Funky. That's the big question. So once again, Peps, much love, much respect, big dog. I want to have you here whenever you're ready, and we'll make it work. Um, so other than that, uh, Johnny D, you feeling good? I'm feeling great, dog. I'm seeing double. <laughs> ah, I got a little buzz, a little something. I took like I drank like two beers and a. What do you mean a little about something? A shot and a half. Okay, uh, Memo Juarez, he dropped four ninety nine. God bless all of us this year. That's right. Absolutely. God bless all of us, bro. We all need it, bro. We all need God's blessing, bro. Take care of us when we're out there in the street. Hey, uh, speaking of blessings, yeah. I want to thank you, Tony, because you're always promoting the shop. Um, yesterday, I had a cu- uh, girl come in. Her name is Lou. I know she drove in from the 909. So 909. Uh, she drove all the way over there to uh, check us Check us out and make and um she wanted me to do the brakes on her car, but she didn't need brakes, so I didn't do that job. But she was missing a bolt on her brakes, oh, so I found was the that bolt. All it was? 
Yeah, yeah, and I fixed it. Instead of changing out her brakes and everything, you know, as most mechanics probably would have done, yeah. and collected her that, money that and break. left. You know, no, nah, I just fixed it, charged her less than what it was going to be for a brake job, you know. I got to keep it real. I can't. I can't uh, take your money and feel good about doing it if I if I didn't earn it. You, know? you have a conscience, bro. Uh, you know, you have a heart, bro. And, and that's the way we are at right here. Yeah, definitely. You know, in the heart of the harbor. Yeah. We got and, heart. And um, I mean, that's that's all, all you got is heart, homie. Even Marvelous has came by, and I had I have another guy. His name is Joe. Uh, he lives out here in San Pedro. He also uh, comes by, and he knows us from the show, you know, and I got a couple of people that have heard Freaky Tales, and they're like longshoremen and stuff. Yeah. So they all, and they come to the shop and like, oh, wait, we heard you guys on there and stuff like that. So that's very good to hear, you know? Yeah. We're making some noise. Definitely. Absolutely, bro. Damn, Freaky Tales, man. We had some real freaky shit that day, huh? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. The fucking power went out. Fucking sound like bombs were going off. The fucking um, tsunami alerts were going off in the port. Tsunami alerts. Johnny, you need to come back. A bunch of fat girls control. running around on the block and shit. Fucking a fucking left gun ran between yeah, your legs. Fuck, bro. So, okay, hold on. Alex needs that the bottle. Oh, he guy. needs a refill. Okay. He needs a refill. Damn yeah, man. Okay, Alex, Shut take up. it. T- take it in front of the camera. Come over here. Hey, how come fucking Norby's not here, dog? This fucking guy, bro. He shouldn't no. have been here. No, no, no. Okay, look. Go ahead, go ahead. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just pull that motherfucker. Ah, you're just wild. Let me get that bottle opener, dog. Oh, okay. My apologies, my bro. Ah, come on. Okay. Okay. It's a dance. Mokes, both of you guys are invited. Let's do this, bro. I haven't had you guys on here in Calls of the Wizard. You were my number one Calls of the Wizard. <laughs> and then now you're here. Yeah, okay. come on, dog. That's how we do it. So, who's coming in, Alex? Is that Brizzy? Ah, uh, uh, it's a mother- dirty scandalous. This mother, <laughs> this motherfucker's drunk. Nah, I took one shot. He one shot. I took one shot too, dog. All right, c- come over here, Mio. Come over here, over here. Yo, everybody, this is my son right here. If you don't know who the fuck he is, follow him on Instagram. Get, uh, on this, there you go, right there. And that's uh, B Scandalous. He he, he claims he only took one shot, but I know he took more. He took one. He took one shot. How come I didn't see him on the screen, bro? It's there. He, he popped up. He's fucking up. lying. <laughs> He's fucking up. Oh, there, there he is. He's fucking up. It is fuck his ass up right now. After, after. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's jump his ass out. That's it. No more alcohol. For okay. Sure. No more shots. <laughs> Green light. Uh, yeah, it took one and a half. Yeah, exactly. All good. Uh, you know what? I want to thank everybody uh, for tuning in. But other than that, Johnny, once again, anybody, anything you want to shout out, anything you want to promote, anything you want to say? Spanish Fly album coming anybody soon. Anybody you want to diss? I diss everybody, dog. It is All good. Fuck everybody, bro. You know, I keep it 100. Um, Spanish Fly album coming soon. Uh, we, have, we have some shit coming with, uh, like I said, we have, like, I'm not going to speak on the shit that's not done yet. Yeah. But we on the on the Smash Flop, you can hear uh, you're gonna hear about you're gonna hear a little Rob. We got we just did another song with Little Rob. Oh dope. We dope. did um um we got some shit coming with um with ODM and uh, Money Moons. Dope. We got um it's a it's a lot of shit going on, dog. A lot of a lot of homies fucking with us, a lot of people fuck with us. It'll keep it cool, dog. A lot of the G always on every single thing. Um yeah. we have little body Gotti and Mo C but you know, the group. And then we have uh, MC Peps, you know what time it is. Um, it's a Wee my shit. And then um, everybody else, dog. Our keys is constantly fucking with us. We got, like you said, uh, Shane doing talk box, but we have our keys, and and yeah. Daz is fucking with Absolutely. it right now too. Just just touching it up. You feel me? So, are you guys going to be doing any shows with the Chicano Scam Festival? Nah, definitely. Yeah, you know, like, uh, for for twenty bucks and a fucking and and a, and, a, and a couple fucking hits of Pookie, dog. You know what I'm saying? Chicano Scam Festival, yeah. yeah, San Diego. Yeah, make sure you guys go show up there and give them your money. Yeah, I, I, so I, I was hoping cancel. to see. I was hoping to see the big homie at Urban Con, but he didn't show up. Yeah, I know. Big OG, triple OG. Um, yeah, you know, San Diego legend and shit. <laughs> Double S, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he but was nah, sure. he didn't. He didn't show up. So damn, I'm, I was he wouldn't even show up to San Diego. Yeah. So. But anyways, all, all good. Um, <laughs> Chicano Scam Festival. Yeah. Make sure you guys get your tickets, and until yeah. he'll cancel, keep all your money. Yeah, and exactly. uh, he'll throw another one. No, he's not gonna cancel. He just won't show up and he'll hide behind the stage. No, no, no. That's what he does. He cancels at least two shows <laughs> to get all your money, and then the next one he'll Fuck. like. Can't tell some yeah, shit. That's nah. what he does. 
It's a yeah, pattern, bro. It's yeah. a pattern. So uh, if you have a problem with that, make sure you call and um, hit my DM. You know, let me know what yeah. time it is and um, email us. Make it happen. Yes, definitely. Yeah, tag us. Yes, tag uh, us. MySpace us. Yeah. Email us. Beep us. Hell yeah. You know, pray for us. None but love. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there's a reason why they call you. Hey, what? you know, you got to remember the, the what only. What does that mean? Look at the, <laughs> the only Spanish fly in Dago's when I go and visit. Yeah. And I ain't checking in what lanes. Ain't with the business. There's no bro. reason to check in. So, yeah, that's what, that's what it is, dog. No. So, so <laughs> Spanish fly out the harbor area. Has the, o, the OG Spanish fly from San Diego ever reached out to you guys? Nah, I don't even know where he's at, bro. He's probably over there. No, he's probably working at the I subway warehouse. No, he's probably working at he's probably working at the subway warehouse. Making so, meatball sandwiches, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like eating pastrami. pastrami. No, he's wedging eating uh, cold pastrami he's with, wedging uh, tuna meat. So anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, fuck those guys. Anyway, yeah, no, no, all, yeah, all good. So, yeah. Tony shouldn't be talking like that. I'm fucking buzzed. You get <laughs> You know when a cop pulled you over? You know I pulled you yeah. over? Yeah, I've been drinking. Come on, looky loose. Watch the watch the car crash. I've been drinking. There's a lot of autos on what a the car fuck? crash collision, dog. So yeah. you can watch ours right now. I got some tequila. You want one? And he looks both ways and like, yeah, give me a shot. <laughs> no, Pass Tom, that you, shit, fool. you can't be you can't be sending that message, man. Just don't say nothing. Don't. Uh, don't even say nothing, man. Just well, well I just, say no names. <laughs> no, no, just don't. The truth, right? they, they ask you how fast. Do you know why I pulled you over? And they say, and you, and the most of the people say, yeah, I was going kind of fast. Like, man, don't Fuck even that. say shit. Don't even say. Don't that. say shit. I was cruising. <laughs> I, I don't no, know. No, you know, you know why I pulled you over? Yeah, you're buzzing. The answer yeah. is I You've don't. You've been know. drinking. You've been drinking, homie. That's boy. why you picked doing, on me. You're doing too much, dog. You're, you're tripping, homie. Hey, tripping. I got, like I got, your wife right, said, just take it easy, dog, you know? I got B. Scanlish <laughs> right here as proof. You know, all I can say is, I don't know. I don't know. Just say you don't know until they let you go. <laughs> you know why I pulled you <laughs> over? <laughs> yeah, you're fucking buzzed, bro. No. No, no, you're, you're, you're tripping, bro. You're abusing your authority. Is that a tequila bottle right there? Yeah, you want a swig? And he looks oh, yeah, dog, he he goes like, I got, I got, I got shark glasses. Yeah, fuck it, let's go. Okay, cool, cool. Stop being a lame, dog. You know, you got some dope ass fucking female fine. cops that you can call. Yeah, fuck yeah. Woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> all, all good. You know, let me give a shout out to my team, Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Make sure you hit up Alex. Alex, go ahead and give your address once again. I, I need them to pull up to pull up to your shop, bro. Yes, uh, we're in the city of Torrance. The address is 22410 Normandy Avenue. We're available from 9 o'clock to, and we do smogs till about 7 o'clock at night. So it gives you time when you get off of work, come by, we do your smog. Don't have to worry about, you know, uh, taking time off of work to just to go do your smog on your car. Right now, smog season. So take care of that. Absolutely. If you don't have the money, just make sure you give them cabeza for that smog. But other than nah, that, I don't um, know about all um, that. I don't know about all that, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, Miss Crafty, I know you're watching. He takes all but anyways, kinds of, um, once all, he again, takes all types of tacos, dog. Let me go ahead and give a no. shout out to the hip hop no. Jedi. Let me go ahead and give a shout out to News of Norbies. Thank you, my bro. I know that was you that called. So much love, much respect. I was just trying to pretend to make it exciting for the show. Um, let me give a shout out to my son, Be Scandalous. Not be nice, but be scandalous. Let me give a shout out to uh, Marvelous Inc. Hit them up for some fucking tattoos because we're about to do a Marvelous Inc. tattoo live oh, here. Dog, I was going to say that right now. Marvelous here. Tap Me Live over here, dog. We'll make it work then. Right here. We'll make it work. Absolutely. Live on Rhodium. While radio. I'm smoking a P dog, homie, representing, homie. <laughs> the motherfuckers at P dog. <laughs> This motherfucker's at P Dog. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Smoking a P Dog and drinking them all that on Donald Shaw. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Red Monster. I said we keep it 100 around here. Fuck. If oh, he wow. extra bleeds, I don't, I don't, I don't, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, if he wears a G string, like if you want the tramp stamp, I, I, don't, I don't have nothing to do with that. No tramp stamps. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. That's a San Diego thing, though. We don't do that shit over here, homeboy. Oh, nah, I mean. Keep that well, shit 100. well, I know that one dude. Uh, nah, shout out to the homies from San Diego, dog. That that, that, that little guy, he, he has a trap stab. But anyways, um, oh fuck. But let me, <laughs> let me give a shout out to Magic Girl. Thank you. You know what? Uh, much of it, 
uh, for our moderator. Much love, much respect. Thank you. But other than that, I want to thank everybody who liked, comment, uh, shared, subscribed, and all the people that became members. You know, I want to thank you guys because before we got demonetized, we had about 200 members, a little bit over 200 members. Somewhere between under 200, like some of the 194, 204, I don't remember. But within the last three days, we've had over 40 fucking members. I'm not going to disappoint you guys. So thank you guys. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Hey, we got that footage from uh, Rhodium, uh, Club Rhodium, which we will drop eventually on um, on the membership, on members Absolutely. only. You know, Rhodium, I, I got like that. an I got like two hours worth of footage. So, you know, if you guys want. Absolutely. So thank you guys. And I was waiting uh, on my invitation to that motherfucker, but it's it's all good. Bro, everybody was nah. invited. <laughs> you didn't have to. You yep. didn't need an hey, invitation. I, I, I was I drunk. just wanted to get that, you know, like. And I didn't remember you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it, it, that's real as fuck. I feel you on that, my boy. Don't nah, I mean. Whatever. So, so you know what? Thank oh, you guys. Man, much love, much respect. Don't We're check Johnny D. You know, uh, walkie tip. We must. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good though. Oh. <laughs> We must in the building before we leave. Let's do, let's throw up the W. Ooh. That's the way we do right here. Okay, this is uh fucking um the way we do um uh what was that COVID separation where we like the separation we, penetration? We do, it, we do it like this. Huh? <laughs> Keep it six feet or what? Social distancing. <laughs> hey, spray my fucking hand or what? Exactly. <laughs> we all good. Shout out to everybody, man. The city of the W, dog. Wilmas. You know, you know what time it is, homie. Red Ragon. Take us away. That's right. Um.